a competent observer looks for signs of despotism in a community, he looks beyond fine words and noble phrases. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, that's Half Punk Panda. You know we're out here playing some more old school RuneScape. We're vibing it out, man. We're still doing mixology. We're doing it. Doing our best. Uh, we got a lot of stuff planned for today. Uh, fortunately or not, I'm not going to be streaming the whole time. Just the way that things pan out. Uh, Sucks got our 2K celebration going on. So as is always the case, we're going to go check her out. Right out to her. Uh, but we got many more things happening today. So don't go anywhere. Well, I mean, do do not stay here. Like, if you stay here, then you're going to be, like, woefully disappointed because you're not going to see anything here. But generally, like, on the global scale, do stick around because uh, there's going to be other people who are streaming uh, when we play a Zomboid together. So I guess that means that ultimately I'm going to take a bit of a break because in between RuneScape and Zomboid... There's a bit of a lull, a bit of like a two hour break or something. I want to get rid of these, but I think that I need them. I think that I need them. So let me see. Are these the right potions? Yes, it looks like it. Okay. So we'll do this and then drop this off. And then we're going to do some dailies. And it'll be good. It'll be in a good spot, I think. But yeah, I guess um, I'm not going to be streaming for the first day that we play Zomboid. Um, but you can still catch everybody playing Zomboid. Um, it'll be Delta, Chuzzy. Yeah, it'll be live. It'll be fine. 
Uh, do, do, do. I guess I don't really want... Well, I can keep kind of all of this. I'm just doing my dailies, right? We're just doing dailies. So we do this, rake, gold, rock. That'll be fine. Um, no need for beer glasses or anything like that. Okay, so we're good here we can go on a farm run too but we don't need to do all that either it's all right i didn't really do anything for the redeem today for the ad redeem because i didn't really feel like it you know i don't feel strongly about it so we'll just sell these keep going keep it moving It's just impossible to move that shit now, huh? Okay, I think we're good. So we go back to Mixology, which is here. And then leave all these potions unfinished. Oh, I guess I need to move them in retrospect. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, we can fix this, though. So. Um, the easiest way to fix this, this basement, I think, is to deposit both of these, withdraw this one for the first row, and then withdraw the other one. Just so that they're reversed from what they look like now. Maybe it'll make more sense if I just show you. If I do this, and then this, and then this, and then I just want this to be, these guys to be down here. That was a series of unfortunate misclicks that didn't result in me eating the pie, so I guess I'm fine with it. All right, so what are we doing? AAM. This looks very similar to what we just did, actually. AAM, AAA, and AAL. Okay. Right on back to the, the grind. This is the wrong order to make that, but that is the order that I... Well, the most recent one that I said, at least. Well, I said AAM and AAL, I think. No, I said AAA in between, right? I don't know what I was doing. Smoking. It's fine. All right, let's keep it moving. Um, I don't think we get the herb lore levels today. We have like three hours, so it's possible, but it really depends on like how much of this we we end up doing versus how much we like proper herb lore we end up doing. I think the story, as I'm sticking to it, is we run out of paste basically entirely, and we just see where we're at points wise at that point. Hopefully, that'll be enough for us to get goggles and necklace? Goggles and necklace, I believe, is what we're doing this for. Does seem like this place is kind of popping off, though. A lot of people were here yesterday. A lot of people here today as well. We also got a grape barrel yesterday. We found out how the shiny grape thing works, after all. I wonder if there's, um, like, better rewards over time or something? Like, if I just keep doing it? He did say, like, the foreman said to do it four times, but maybe he was saying to fill the grape barrel, you need to find four sets of grapes. 
which is much less exciting than doing it four separate times for better rewards, I guess. I think that the fact that it gave five rapes is definitely like a meme, right? Like there's definitely no one would do that for five rapes, right? So clearly that's that's like a loss leader type of like haha funny funny meme, right? So to me it seems very likely that they would give you something else. Not that I would know what that thing is. But it seems likely that there's something something going on in that little side thing. Not that I'm like deeply invested in it or nothing, but I am, you know, a little curious. It's probably like a wiki page on it. I don't think I'm going to look into it though. Maybe we'll discover it ourselves if we decide after this, you know what I mean? Like we have enough time to like investigate deeper, further. Maybe that'll be the thing that we do. Okay, so we're good here. It's very interesting to me that you have to like keep an eye out for triple triples, if that makes sense. If it, if they're all A, 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 L, 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 M, M, M or whatever, or any combination of those. Just because that is the only time it's not worth doing them. Like, I guess every other time you end up with just narrowly enough experience so just those guys are th uniquely unqualified at giving you experience I'm very nervous about that one i don't want to make any more mix lots into hot mix lots we're very far from our goal right now 79 yeah so it's I don't know if we're going to actually level up anytime soon. I don't think we're going to level up today from this. At least. I think the rate is too bad here for us to finish these pace and level up. So I think what we're going to end up doing is just looking at the wiki, basically. There was something suggested by Savage, right? He was saying, hey, maybe you can do the new potion, the prayer potion, for example, at a profit because of how much of the second ingredient you're going to save. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I can definitely do a price check, do one of them, right? Just to see where it's at. Uh, oh, I definitely should have double clicked that, but it's okay. There's also the idea like, no, nah, I was gonna say I can also use those prayer potions, the prayer regen in theory at some point in the future, but by the time that I'll need them, they'll be like way less probably. I mean, I can use it at any time, right? Like anytime I'm doing like fucking Slayer, I guess, but like, I'm not going to. Like, why would I? That's way more expensive than it's worth. Right? MML. Perfect. I think that it's reasonable to like want the quality of life at the prayer region, but the expense right now is just obviously not there. For someone like Saku, it's fine because like, there's just the best time to use it whether the expense is not really a thing as an iron right like you the things are worth the value that they prevent present to you and that's it you can't sell it on the ge realistically at all unless you drop it to a main which is like only a value to you in bonds realistically as like a person who only uses their iron right it's just totally a different perspective from how i have like everything is worth money to me all the time or whatever and time is money so it's like how much time does it save if it saves the time that is worth the money then it's worth doing or whatever i was mentioning this in uh mellow's chat as well I was uh, after the stream i hung out with just fans uh, for a while it's the idea is like if you pay attention to what's happening in runescape you will learn about the principle uh the principle the principle of opportunity cost and like uh you know what i mean like 
how your time is worth money and as long as you're paying attention to that you're going to be like well it just simply doesn't make sense like this is clearly the wrong answer as far as like what i should be doing like i need to be doing things that are more efficient with my time than this <laughs> or not necessarily with my time it depends on what you value right but like you're gonna be like learn you're gonna learn one way or the other like the kind of person that you are just like well this is this is the thing that makes sense to do because of xyz like i just i have zero money but so much time or zero time and so much money or zero time and money so i just need to do the thing that gives me the most out of each in order to do anything at all you know what i mean like you just have to do the thing yeah like if you can do the thing that just saves you the most time no matter how expensive it is and if you are completely out of money then you just do whatever you can get, do to get the most money with the least amount of time which is probably why so many people raid right the value gain from raids is really really high as long as you high roll So they're just shooting for the high rolls, just a lottery ticket, basically. That makes sense to me. All right, M, M, A. That's a lot of blue and green, by the way. I would love a mix a lot, by the way. A mix a lot, just, you know, like 15 of them or so would be really fucking good. <laughs> I'd be pretty ex excited to get 15 mix a lots in a row. That would be, that would be pretty good for me as a, you know, spiritual part of my journey. It would be a really eye opening experience. We can do this. Maybe that'll help. All right, so we got triple L, boop, 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 triple M. I hear that the triple ones are like worse value for your paste as well. So like they're worse points and worse paste. I guess those are kind of the same thing now that I think about it. I wonder if the bonus matters, if that changes that value proposition at all, because I remember Roran was sent, not talking about it. He's definitely the guy that would know as well. He's a hardcore iron player. He's actually live now, I think, even. Uh, but yeah, he definitely tends to look into those, those things, though. Obviously, with all, and as is all the case with all players, right? They all have blind spots. His blind spots seem to be the newest content because as a hardcore iron player, he typically doesn't do like new, new, new shit. <laughs> kind of has to get like word from it from someone else and then like look into it like cautiously <laughs> you know hardcore shit they're all committed to like doing things the slowest possible way that they can think of aka the safest possible way that they can think of all right drop this on the ground No mix a lot, huh? But I have I have the level. I'm boosted for it. You have to give it to me because I'm boosted now. It's only fair. Yeah, we're certainly not done yet. We've got quite a lot of pace to get through. When the pace leaves our inventory, it'll be a good sign of how close we are. Which I guess I'll do when we get to like 1500, so I can put all the pace in at the same time. Wait. There we go. Hey, Oz! I says, uh, got you tapped up. So I work and lurk. Have an epic time. Thank you, man. I appreciate you for stopping by and I appreciate the bits. I would like to say that I'm well rested, but I'm actually like not. 
And it's not really my fault. I went to bed at a like reasonable hour. I just woke up in the middle of the night. Uh, I had like a really lame nightmare. Uh, and then I uh, wasn't really able to fall back asleep for some reason. I don't drink coffee also, which is fine. I don't think caffeine is very good for me. I don't think it's very good for me. I've had a bit of a troubled history with caffeine in my experience. Not like extremely troubled or anything like that. Mostly it seems like it's more of a sleep aid than anything else for some reason. Like when I drank like caffeinated like tea and shit like that, it would help me fall asleep more than anything else. Like the things that would keep me up about the caffeinated beverages, specifically like the McDonald's frappe was like the desserty ice creamy thing or whatever. You know what I mean? Less so specifically just like the caffeination part of it. You know what I mean? Like, or I say caffeination, like it's carbonated or something, but you get what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't feel like the caffeine itself is the thing that did it. It's more so that it was like a nice sweet treat or whatever, which is probably not wholly accurate. I don't know. It's a little unclear to me how the biology of it works when it comes to my system, particularly. Uh, it says, oh, it happens to certain types with ADD and ADHD where it puts them to sleep instead of waking up. It's possible. Yeah. I definitely have had caffeine, those frappes, for like really, really long distance traveling or whatever. But other than that, I'm like really skeptical about like it helping me stay awake personally. But I also don't drink it, right? So maybe I just, if I just give it more of a chance. But also, I don't necessarily need to, like, get myself addicted to caffeine. That's all right. Everybody else is already. I don't need to be addicted also. You know, that's fine. I will give you a shout out, though. Obviously, I didn't do it yesterday or give anybody a shout out yesterday because I didn't want to give a shout out where I was, like, literally sleeping. Um, Ozpin Ark, as you may be familiar with by now, is a fellow streamer. He starts every stream with a nice little exercise re uh, regime, if you will. And uh, he's my personal fitness wellness coach, as well as yours, if you choose to check in, stop by with him, because he wants to see you grow as an individual. He's going to get to know you as a person. And uh, one of the things that is important to him, obviously, is, you know, physical wellness or whatever. But he wants to see you grow in whatever it is that you happen to be working on. He's not necessarily like, you know, a universal guru or anything, but he definitely has words of encouragement to make sure that you are pursuing your goals. And he definitely wants to know about your goals in particular and will do the best that he can in order to supply you with a path forward. If you, you know, if you're stumbling, if you're uh, lacking in any particular way, if you feel like you don't, if you need a little bit of a... Uh, you know, a pat on the back, if you will. Uh, though I would say that he is a good guy, not a nice guy, right? He mentioned one time, I had mentioned this all the time. He said it literally once, but I mentioned it all the time because I thought it was funny. He says that he's a ghost pepper because he burns assholes, right? Uh, he's not he's not out here trying to make friends with everybody. You know what I mean? If you're a good guy, then he wants to, you to be around. But if you're a dick, then he's definitely going to make sure that you could get put in your pace, place a little bit. <laughs> Uh, says, uh, no need to. Coffee, I need to function with how busy I am, but if you don't need it, better not take it. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. It's one of those things where it's like, you drink a little bit of coffee and it helps a little bit, and then you drink a little more coffee and it helps a little bit more, and then and then you're just trapped with coffee for all of your life, right? Like, which isn't the worst thing, because coffee's widely available and all that, but like, it just becomes a thing that you just cannot exist without, right? That's just the the coffee pipeline of it's not like it's bad or anything like that it's fine it's fine but at the same time it's like damn i i have this box fan right um i keep it on literally 24 7 and if ever it breaks there's no way i'm gonna be able to sleep there's just no way and i feel exactly the same way about that as i do about caffeine where it's like i feel like if i drank coffee i would need to get extra coffee just in case you know, like a second coffee maker or whatever, just in case my coffee maker breaks, you know what I mean? Because it's gonna, it's just gonna fuck me up way too bad to be without it for even a single day. 
I says the worst one is energy drinks and students. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they get so addicted to it and need it to survive. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I never mess with energy drinks because I actually like genuinely feared for them. Like heart health and shit like that. It seems like those are actually like approaching dangerous, especially like for Loco back in the day or whatever. I guess even like that charged lemonade though, or whatever, there was that thing with Olive Garden. But yeah, that's, I, I don't know. I'm really skeptical of that kind of stuff specifically. Anything that tastes like chemicals. Uh, says I was actually pretty addicted for a while. Now I cut it off completely. Good. I think that's probably for the best because that shit can be. That shit, like as much as I'm a little scared with how much society loves, like society as a whole loves coffee. The energy drinks like seem like blatantly too far. You know what I mean? Like that's like. That's like marketed, marketed energy in a bottle or whatever. Like literally like, I don't know, man, that seems like they're trying to. And they're not like trying to take over your mind or nothing, but like they're trying to like, they're trying to design it so that you do get addicted to it. You know what I mean? Where it's like, they're like, it's like making cigarettes into a more addictive cigarette. You know what I mean? That's how I feel about energy drinks to co coffee, if that makes sense. Uh, says the only time I take it is if I'm on a very long road trip and just need to get me to, lo to my location safely. I 100% get that. That's exactly the perspective that I have on caffeine as a, in general. I mentioned the um, McDonald's frappe or whatever, which is the only time I've had that. And I've had it like now four ish times, but every time I travel like really, really long distance. And it's like very important that I stay awake. Um, I, I went to. So I've, I've driven for like the first time I drove for like five ish hours. I think I didn't have anything and it was a little sketchy, but every time after that, I would have those every few hours or whatever. And it seemed like it helped tremendously. And I ended up driving 15 hours one way twice. And both times it went really, really well. I would say I didn't feel like I was being like irresponsible or anything like that. And I did definitely have some like long blink moments, if you will, when I was driving the very, very first time that five hour drive or whatever. Oz uh, says, which is probably the uh, uh, the time you actually should use it. Depends on if it's dangerous. Yeah, it depends. It's definitely less dangerous than falling asleep while driving a car, right? Like that's got to be one of the most dangerous things that you possibly can't do. <laughs> so, yeah, I imagine I imagine that's definitely a less evil alternative by by quite a wide margin I would even go so far as to say but yeah I was definitely I was definitely concerned with that long blinking or whatever and that that happened once so I'm glad that I decided to try that out seemed like it made a huge difference obviously you can also just like stop and take a rest you can just sleep somewhere which is fine sometimes just going for a walk a little bit like just getting out of the car and stretching your legs is enough too for me though um i definitely just wanted to keep it keep it going i i like doing everything all at once if i can so i i wanted to you know drive as much as possible for as much as i could really which is probably not the best way to do it really the best way to do it actually if you're driving trying to travel trying to travel very far is to do it in rotation right oh is it no it's not what are you talking about brother savage strange yeah it's not emo only chat see i can turn it on and off again though see like there it's on there's off and on and off But, but yeah, so maybe you just need to refresh your page, brother. But yeah, I, I turned it off at the start of the stream. It was fine, at least on my end. I mean, you saw not emotes in the chat, right, as well. <laughs> Savage says Twitch be lying. Yeah, it does lie a little bit, a little bit. <clears throat> It's okay. Just a little bit of lying is fine, right? A little bit of lying between friends. A 
I feel like this mini game is like weirdly loud in some ways. Savage just not sure if VIP gets a pass or not. Uh, neither of you are VIPs. Oz is a subscriber and also a bitster, a bits giver or whatever. I haven't VIP'd Oz. I should. I should because I've got a VIP everyone who shows up a lot, right? Like that's what it means to be a VIP to me. But I haven't done it yet. I can do it in a second though, now that you mention it. <laughs> I, I like the most like consistent people to be here to be the VIPs. I feel like that's the thing that makes sense to do. Maybe it it's a little weird though to be in a chat like for the first time and you're surrounded by VIPs. Didn't really think about that until just now. I don't know. Twitch be twitching with too much caffeine. Mm. I see what you did there, but I hope it doesn't have that much caffeine. I feel like that's a problem. There's a pot mix a lot. It's perfect. And then we went triple A. An A L A. All right, go on then. Savage says, "I'm a big fan of making things weird. A little bit, yeah. It's only weird if you let it be weird. You know what I mean? It's only weird if you make it weird." No, well, there goes my mix lots. That's all right. We do M L L. Let me just keep it going. We got to use two of them. One of the pots even, which is really exciting in a way. In a way, it's not like the most exciting thing. Savage says, ooh, very nice. I mean, it's it's mostly just like this inventory situation is becoming more and more sad for me. Where it's like, could you like, please? Could you please help? Send help? I used to have as many pies as I do mix lots, but now I have as many mix lots as I do pies. No, pies as I make. You get what I'm saying? I used to have, instead of three pies, I would have three mix lots, and now I have 14 mix lots. Yeah, very silly. I don't know why this is why inventory now. So it's just more like mix a little. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You got me. I'm over here only mixing a little bit. Look at how much green and blue I just did. That's barely even a mix. I'm not even a mixer man. A bar mixer man. Right? I'm not qualified for this. I didn't get a degree for this. <laughs> there is like a um, certification that you can get to be like a bar person, right? I think that's a thing. I think it's like more like a, a certificate than it is a degree though, right? I guess it could be a degree. I know that to be a librarian, you actually have to be like really, really well learned, which makes some sense, but also like, how much do you really need in order to operate a library? You know what I mean? Not to be like, not to poo-poo on librarians or nothing, but like, isn't it mostly just like book maintenance and organization rather than like having to have like a lot of specific knowledge? I feel like somebody tried to be a librarian. Was it Ella? I think Noella was trying to learn about that shit. I should ask them. Savage says, you need to point and say shush. Wow. Wow, I think there's probably more to it than that, at least. <laughs> That's a little bit brutal, I think. I think they can probably do more. Well, they need to do more than just that. Surely, surely. 
are all librarians government employees? Or at least most of them? Like the vast, vast majority, right? Because there aren't that many like private libraries. I guess every university would probably have, not every university, but most universities would have a private library. Because that's not a public library, right? Generally, at least. Um, that being said, like, how private is it really? I went to a university once that, like, I was not attending just to use their printer. And I was, you know, <laughs> roughly college-aged looking or whatever, and they just didn't even ask. They weren't like, where's your student ID? They were just like, oh, yeah, that'll be... 30 cents. <laughs> I was like, thanks, man. I forget what I needed to print out. Savage says, you need to give kids the passwords to the computers. It's always like computers. <laughs> or whatever. It's, it, it's like, it's usually not like secure literally at all. They're just like, nah, man, whatever. If you're like in the library, they're like, yeah, just go ahead. Whatever. It's fine. It's a library, man. <laughs> so it says, oh yeah, they will say, uh, they will ask you nine times a day. What? The, oh, the using the computers. I've never been on a library computer for so long that it asked me for the password again. Never. Never. Usually I only need like one thing. Usually just one thing printed out even. I haven't, I don't spend a lot of time at libraries. The last time I went to a library, actually, I was there like all day long and I was reading a book. It was actually quite pleasant. Savage says the password will be on the wall and they still ask. Damn, it's on the wall behind you. They're looking at you and it's printed in like fucking point fucking 1600 font big ass letters it says obey and just below that it says the password and they still ask you bruh bruh being a librarian is hell i, don't, I can't imagine why anyone would choose to do this N like they chose being a librarian because they love books and all they do all day is deal with children <laughs> It's like being a veterinarian, right? You chose to be a veterinarian because you love animals and all you do is kill animals all day long. It's all you do. You just put them down left, right, and center. Especially the cute ones. Adopt a black cat, guys. Uh, <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Hey, Spot. You only get treats from your veterinarian, don't you, Spot? <laughs> your veterinarian loves to see you because that means that he doesn't need to end a life that day. <laughs> Savage as I could never. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little dark. We're a little dark sometimes. Oh, um, Savage, there is, there is that, by the way. I don't know if you heard, you probably didn't because it was earlier in the stream. So we're going to end stream today a little bit earlier, but we're still going to play Zomboid because sucks, um, 12 hour 2k celebration is today. So as is tradition, I'll raid into her and end stream as well, but I'll still host it for everybody. You know what I mean? And record it locally and all that. So there's going to be like a little bit of a three hour break today, I guess. So I might actually like eat before Zomboid or something like that, I guess. I don't know. I want, I wanted to like really sleep up, but I just wasn't able to rest very well, unfortunately. So maybe I'll take a nap or something. I don't know. I don't feel very optimistic about that working out. It's just one of those things where like often, often I can like sleep whenever or whatever, but I don't know. Sometimes... When the sleep is evading me, you know what I mean? Like, there's just nothing to do. I I just can't run it down. <laughs> Savage says, 
<laughs> Sounds good. Wow, food. I could almost cry. <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn. All right. All right. That's how you feel. That's just how I feel. <laughs> um, let's do the mix a lot now, actually. Let's do this. Eat this. Boop, boop. Because when we do this mix a lot, we can also do this and then do the reset while the buff is at maximum, right? Beautiful. No mix a lot, but you know, there could have been a mix a lot and that would have been good. ALA? What? What is ALA? Aqualux Amalgam? That actually sounds delightful. <laughs> I think I would drink that. Savage says, you think the meta is full prayer gear for this when I'm this close? No, because the thing about full prayer gear is it doesn't actually make this I mean, like, it would be a marginal benefit, but it doesn't make this... It doesn't make Preserve last for longer. And I already get 12 minutes, you know what I mean? So, like, if that's 30 minutes, does that change very much? Probably not. Like, can I switch to that? Sure, but should I? Like, I don't know. Who cares, right? It will save me on resting? In theory, it could, but, like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like... Who cares? Like you're not gonna be I'm not gonna be fucking with it for that long. I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of pies before that becomes an issue, I think. Look at all many mix lots I have, you know what I mean? Like I don't know. What? It lied to me. The audio cue lied to me. Did you hear that shit? What the fuck? The audio cue came out after it switched back. That's fucked up. So it's just, oh yeah, I would not do it. Yeah, I think it's silly to mess with that. I think it's not that serious. Not like it's extremely silly, but it's silly enough that I'm like, nah, I'm sure it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I was just throwing on res preserve because it does help, right? And I have the prayer, but I'm not gonna like leave to go get more prayer probably. And that's kind of what it comes down to, right? Like, if I actually left to get more prayer, then it probably would get prayer gear as well. But until then, until then, it's fine. Whatever. Ooh, we got a pot. A pot's a lot. Bam. Everything's actually paying off in such a big way. Actually, boosting was the right answer. Praying preserve was so good, actually. I can't believe anyone would doubt me. Obviously, I'm going to use prayer gear because it's so good. <laughs> Just completely changed. Completely flipped the script. Completely go back. <laughs> it does kind of seem like it works. <laughs> like, it does kind of seem good, though. <laughs> like, unironically, a little good. <laughs> Just a little good, you know what I mean? Just a little bit. Hold on, let's do this mix a lot before our bonus runs out. All right, and then L, L, L. And then A, A, M. What? That's not right. Oh. Bam. Yeah. Perfect. I actually did that like a frame faster than it asked me to, like clicking on it before it changed colors or whatever. And it was fine. So it's interesting. What's with this guy in like PK gear, by the way? What's up with that? 
Can we do this? Well, that wasn't fucking worth it at all. <laughs> Punished. Alright, cool. Never mind. I'm supposed to be rewarded for using that pie, alright? I'm not supposed to be punished by getting nothing but M's. Just so many goddamn M's. All right. That's not a mix-a-lot either. You promised me mix-a-lots. Well, that's fine. I prefer it this way. I actually do like the V machine. So I kind of do prefer it this way a little bit. That's also not mix lotting. That's not good enough. I want it to be better than this. I asked politely, money me now. It's only fair. Oh god, we've already lost a point. It's over. We're doomed. <gasps> there it is! The prodigal one has returned to us. It's worth. It's all worth. It's actually all worth. <laughs> Alright. So it's this, this. Like that, yeah. Really, I just need to get rid of the pot slots, right? The pot slots are the ones that I need to get rid of. Because I could keep the mix slots to whatever future that I do this mini game again, right? Like, it's fine in theory. Then again, I don't really want to use the bank space on this. So maybe I don't want to keep them forever. Savage says, yeah, so about the prayer gear, lol, don't mind me just making the meta on the fly. Yeah, it does seem that way. It's all right. It's not the worst, right? I mean, look at how long it lasts even without prayer gear. You know what I mean? It's kind of where I'm like, it doesn't seem like it matters that much. Wow, another miss. Where's mix lots? Where? When mix lot? People always ask why mix lot? I always ask when mix lot. Not even how mix lot. I know how. I've got so many of those motherfuckers. I certainly know how mix lot. Oh, I fucked that up. No. Do we do it again? Maybe we wait. Because there's like a time. It's not showing, but there's like a 60 second period or whatever where each. You know what I mean? And yeah, we should turn this off at least. Where each of them tick down. It ticks down regularly, like on like a fixed tick schedule or whatever 
I don't really know how to describe it, but there's a there's a time where it makes more sense to eat rather than you get like you'll get like an extra like 60 seconds of the buff or 90 seconds of the buff if you do it at the right time. I just don't know what it is. But if you wait until after it ticks all the way down, then you can do it basically at any time and it'll be you'll get the same amount. You'll get the maximum amount of time. Excuse me. Not the same amount of time. I hope that makes sense. Savage says, oh yeah, logging out resets the timer too. Oh, that's interesting. I certainly didn't know that. I don't spend a lot of time logging out during my super combat buffs or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really happen that way all that much. I guess I would have done it a little bit with Vyres, right? I bet I do a little bit of world hopping. But that's also pretty atypical. Most people don't you have potions going during virus, I don't think. Savage says you uh, can have a boost last forever if you have it, if you're an iron. Yeah, but like, come on now. Logging out every minute. Come on now. Come on now. Though, though, those tormented demon boosts, that shit is really fucking good. That's like the second strongest boost in the whole fucking game. So maybe there's something to be said for that. All right, we go here. Boop, boop, boop. I ate real food yesterday. I made like a meatball thing and I had a bunch of mixed vegetables and they paired together extremely nicely and I think I'm gonna have something similar today since I have so much time and by that I mean honestly I think I'll just try to sleep and if I wake up with enough time before the stream then I'll uh <laughs> then I'll eat or then I'll eat something probably, but I think I'm mostly just gonna try to sleep instead because that's a little more important to me, I think. I don't feel extremely tired, but I definitely know that I didn't sleep as much as I wanted to. So it's just chicken dinner for me. I haven't had chicken in a long, long, long time. Like, um, like a roast chicken or whatever. I've had wings. Even that's been a little while though. Not like a long time, but like maybe two or three weeks or something like that. But oh wait, I have chicken nuggets often, but that's also like not quite like regular chicken. You know what I mean? It's a little bit more like pink slime or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like super strongly about it. I feel like it's fine. Prima Fossi, right? On the surface, it, it appears like I'm getting enough. I don't want to say like enough nutrients because I'm not like a dietitian. Like, I don't know. But I think I do okay. I eat vegetables often. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. If, as long as you eat meat regularly and you eat vegetables as often or more often you're probably good right like how much how much better do you really need sandwiches roast and mashed potatoes yorkshire pudding going to slap yorkshire i don't know about yorkshire pudding i don't know what that's about i don't know what that is i think i think the rest of it's good though I think the rest of it's good. I don't know about Yorkshire pudding, though. I know you guys fuck with, like, black pudding or whatever, and that shit seems vile. I don't know about that. I'm not saying that it's the worst, but it looks... It makes me squeamish a little bit. It looks like it's bleeding. <laughs> And that doesn't seem good. I don't think it's supposed to. You know what I mean? Savage says, it's not a pudding and it's not from Yorkshire, if that helps. 
I mean, I like pudding, just not black pudding. I don't know how much being from Yorkshire makes a difference. I don't think that registers on my radar. <laughs> I don't think I have any preconceived notions about Yorkshire specifically. I don't think I'm worldly enough to have opinions on. <laughs> um, actually, it's Yorkshire. It's Worcestershire, but it's Yorkshire. Oh, okay, sure. Whatever, man. I'm sorry. Shire, I'm sure. Shout out to the Shire, actually. We saw the first Hobbit movie recently. Most of it was nothing, I'm going to be honest. It was Some of it was fine, but most of it was nothing to me. I like the start of it, and then towards the end of it, I guess. Hey, Buck! Savage says, it's just flour, eggs, and milk. What? That's not enough <laughs> to be food. <laughs> you need to like cook it, right? So are, are you like baking it or something? Isn't that like the base of like most things? Isn't that what you need for bread and cake? I guess bread and cake are kind of the same thing. Savage says you bake it. So what you're it sounds like it sounds like bread to me. Maybe you need yeast for bread too, though. I don't know enough about cooking, I guess. But it sounds to me like weirdly similar to like many. It sounds like a very fine recipe, but you're missing a lot of ingredients. <laughs> like you gave me just the first ingredient or just the first step or whatever. <laughs> Savage says, plain flour, table salt, large free milk, and sunflower oil. No, I'm not satisfied. I feel like you're still missing. I think you need the rest of your food in there. Large egg. I still think you need... What does it taste like? It's, it, I feel like it would taste like white bread. <laughs> like literally, literally the most unseasoned, neutral tasting thing. Like literally milk toast. Savage says it's fluffy. But yeah, it doesn't taste like anything. Tastes like cotton candy, unsweetened cotton candy. Tastes like dragons. That's a reference to this stream from yesterday. This is just kind of damn. Let me do, uh, give a uh, smug little bug a shout out. That's the friend over there. I'll ignore this for a second. It's fine. <laughs> smug little bug. It's he's up so early today. It's actually crazy. And also he was streaming so early yesterday. Not this early. He was streaming at like four ish p.m. And the reason why, as I understand it, not only was he playing uh, Europa, which is like a nice little Ghibli looking uh, fun little light platformer. It's uh, he was also planning on doing Steam Next Fest, I believe, which is when developers for games especially indie games uh release a bunch of demos all at the same time and there's a limited window where you can play through all the demos and stuff like that he plans on doing that during a reasonable hour as opposed to his like, super late night streams he streams every single day by the way uh so definitely do check him out if you want to see not just a variety of content on the whole but very specifically a bunch of upcoming games that he's gonna have opinions on i'm sure though he's kind of a connoisseur of gaming you know what i mean he likes a little bit of everything bug says i'm always up early my my head meat is fucked up oh god 
I don't like that way of describing it at all. I'm sorry about your head meat, brother. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Sam says, look at that bug go. That's not bug. That's Yunaki, apparently. I don't know who that is. I know who Spacefish is, though. Spacefish is a friend as well. She does art very well. She's also very good company. Um, There's something to be said about, like, if you if you tell if you want someone to like you if you want someone to like you easy life hack all right this is this is easy life hack when they tell you a joke laugh and they will like you <laughs> it's that simple it's that simple they laugh at my jokes therefore i like them <laughs> That's all it takes, man. That's all it takes. Laugh easily and you'll have many friends. Uh, Savage says, man, people most people must love me then. You think so? I feel like you I feel like you very often are like, boo, boo. Just with the puns though, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it seems like it seems like that that's an easy life hack. Um I gotta say, I was a little charmed by Space Fish. I made like two or three jokes and she laughed at literally every single one of them. And I was like, I feel really welcome here. <laughs> like, I feel like I feel like I've been welcomed. I I I'm a fan now. I I'm gonna be I'm gonna admit it straight up. Lady laughed at my jokes. I feel like I belong here. <laughs> like simple i am a simple man that's all it takes that's literally all it takes <laughs> thanks space fish but yeah don't abuse it though because if you make too many jokes then you will be disappointed when they inevitably don't laugh at one of your jokes you know what i mean it's very important also, the art's really good, and they have really good advice about art as well. I don't... I'm not an artist, and I'm probably never going to be an artist. It's one of those things that I, like, kind of intended to do. Like, you know, one day I was going to get, you know, a tablet or whatever, and be like... In the same way that I dedicated myself wholly to RuneScape for, like, months on an end, I was like, maybe I should do the same thing with art, right? Like, see if I can take myself from zero to hero when it comes to art in general. That'd be sick, right? But... Uh, it'll be a while before that happens, unfortunately, because, you know, we're not, we're not balling. We're not big balling as far as money goes. And I do want to have like a proper, um, drawing tablet and stuff like that. It doesn't need to be like top of the line or nothing. I do want to have at least a drawing tablet though, just because I, I've always wanted one. I've always wanted one and I feel like I would like to have one, you know, even if I don't use it a ton. I feel like I would like to have one. All right. Oh my God, look at all of the A's. Oh wait, I'm supposed to make a mix a lot as well. I'm out of prayer entirely, it's okay. Get him, kill him, put him in a stew. I fucked that up, but that's okay. <laughs> there it is, there it is. The last mix a lot. Speaking of the last mix a lot, the way that I said that reminded me of The Last Unicorn, which is a fucking trip of a movie. That movie was fucking nuts. It feels like it's like five different like brothers Grimm's tales combined into the same movie even though they have like nothing to do with each other they're just like you know what would be great if we combine these movies these stories together i think unicorns became narwhals in that movie is that real 
they unbecame narwhals as well. <laughs> they went back to being unicorns as well, I think. Which is a weird choice because, like, you'd think that they became narwhals to explain where unicorns went and explain why narwhals exist, but instead they became unicorns again, so it doesn't explain shit in the real world literally at all. <laughs> like, literally, even for a moment. It's like, oh, okay, never mind, I guess. Like, oh, I guess I just got punished for thinking about this too hard. My bad. How close are we? Are you... Oh, we have enough space now. We can deposit the rest of these. We'll do that. We'll finish these first, though. Beautiful. Oh. Get our friend here. Oh, maybe we mix a lot as well. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, look at that mix a lot. Yeah, I'm mixing it. Oh my God, and our inventory is completely empty now. Yo. We're actually living life now. Holy shit. No one's going to be ready for this. I'm not ready for it. I'm quaking in my boots right now. Oh, God. There I go quaking again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This guy in PK gear is freaking me out, though. I don't like it. I feel like he's going to end somebody's life. And it better not be mine. It better not be. I don't want to lose all my mixed lots. <laughs> <laughs> he kills me and sees fucking 15 mix a lots like what the fuck was this guy doing <laughs> that'd be pretty funny actually run into the wilderness with this in your inventory <laughs> just 50, 28 mix a lots why <laughs> what why how how did he get here from <laughs> mixology he wasted so much pace for this. <laughs> Reminds me of the, uh, when Saku showed up with like the cats or whatever. <laughs> it was also pretty funny. Oh my God. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good way to die, I guess. I think I think I like it. I think I like it. There's a lot of silly shit in this game in RuneScape. I think the clockwork cats thing is pretty good though. It's pretty it's pretty high on my list of things that I think are good. <laughs> it's also funny because now you can do the Iraxite venom sack or whatever. You can blow yourself up. <laughs> and just make cats cat delivery anywhere pretty silly pretty silly shit but that's okay I fucked that up but that's all right too it gave me a second chance but I missed it that's all right is that the rogue set no that's just a person in clothes what what are you doing here Yeah, right, we're going to use our last one. There we go. That's it. I should have waited until after I finished these. I realized. That's okay. I wonder if I'm going to run out of... Green and need more or if I made 
or if I got too much red and blue. Mostly red. I guess I can kind of check at any time because every time I turn these potions in, it's like, this is how many points you have. Oh, it looks like I might have enough already. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't know how much exactly we need, but I thought it was around 60,000. I think we do the rest of this anyway. And just for rounding purposes and also because technically this is already sunk cost. Like we're never going to get this money back unless we play this mini game. And even then we might not get the money back. <laughs> All right. Uh, M, M, M. An A, A, A. I think I need to mix. Yeah, I need to pot this one. That which says it's still profit, I think. Hmm. Yeah, you were saying it was like three mil an hour profit or something like that. I don't know. I'm not like nuts about this mini game. So yeah, I think I'd rather do not this. I could help it. Like, I don't know. I guess it depends on how good the experience is here actually. Because I would rather be done with Earth or sooner rather than later. And I'm willing to spend a few mil to get that done. You know what I mean? But like, I also need to get a lot of Earth lore levels overall. So maybe I really will just be back here for like maxing purposes but like for the two levels that i need like i really don't need to do like any particular like optimal strat or whatever i can do like anything savage says uh yeah aldarium is still 80k each and super cheap from the shop and savage says for sure just spend the three mil you get to finish herb lord i don't know if i'm gonna be here for that long but maybe Maybe I will be. I don't think I have enough pace to last me for like an entire hour. I guess it would be starting from a few minutes ago. I don't really know when I got enough. You know what I mean? It's really hard for me to tell. Savage says you might have made three to five mil. Well, yeah, but like you got to start counting from after I got 16,000 of each, right? Because I can't use any of those points for anything except the things that I actually need. You know what I mean? So you got to start counting from like now, kind of. Like how much I've actually got left. Like this, these guys are like the ones that I'm actually going to make money off of in theory. No, I think that's what Savage is trying to do. Let's see. Well, then good. We're in agreement then. <laughs> Fantastic. I wonder why they decided M, A, and L for these. I think that's like a cultural reference in some way. Because it could have been anything, right? A, B, and C. So why M, A, and L? 
There's probably a reason for it. I don't know enough about whatever culture there specifically was inspired by. It's kind of funny that this skill is called Herb Lore instead of Alchemy. But it's really Alchemy, right? Potion making, but it's like Alchemy, really? This is definitely Alchemy, but I think like even greater herb lore is technically kind of alchemy. Not to be confused with high alking stuff, which isn't... It's, I, I get why they call that alchemy as well, but it's not, right? <laughs> like, calling that al alchemy is kind of crazy. Like, come on now. You're converting an item directly into gold as opposed to, like, specifically lead into gold? I guess... In theory, alchemists back in the day would like to turn anything in the gold specifically, but like, come on now. That's not... The whole point of alchemy is transmutation, not specifically make gold and nothing else. Especially low rate and high rate alchemy, which is silly. Also, it's straight up magic and alchemy is supposed to be like a science. My herb, no. All right. So we go boop, boop, boop. I don't actually remember what the things that we get do. <laughs> I know that they make it better. <laughs> they make Herb Lord better. <laughs> but like specifics, I'm just like kind of shrug. <laughs> we'll read them when we get them, but we'll probably mix them up for forever or more because we're going to get both of them at the same time. I think the necklace makes the necklaces better. And it also can be charged. So that means that it's makes four doses more often and then the goggles save the secondary ingredient sometimes that's got to be what it is right something like that and there's other stuff that you can get from this as well but i don't think we're gonna get any of that stuff i think that's silly Especially the cosmetic stuff that is nothing but cosmetic stuff. There's a bunch of stuff like that in this game. Just collection log filler items, basically. And I guess I don't hate the fact that this minigame also has that. It's just silly to me that the set doesn't have a bonus. It's just the goggles. Like, okay, I guess. Sure. Everybody's fashion scape is going to be fucked up by these goggles, I guess. When they're doing fucking herb lore. Because that's the that's the outcome, right? They're going to do fashion scape except for the goggle slot. Okay. Ooh, what a huge difference. I don't know. I've never really cared about fashionscape shit to begin with, I guess. So it's just not for me. Best not to be worried about the things that obviously don't affect me very much. I kind of like listening to the new tracks. Like this one. Because I don't know if I'm ever going to listen to this specific track again. If I just throw it on random or whatever. So it's probably good to just leave it at this. 
Because we're not going to be here for much longer anyway. Because this green is looking a little light. Which is okay. It is inevitable. Oh, good. My, um, could be my battle saves, but I imagine that's the ales. Yep, a few of them. Just two of them, even. Yeah, market on those bastards crashed. Fucking YouTubers. <laughs> Telling people ways that I make money in such a way that is influential enough for people to actually do it. Even though I literally did the same thing myself and nobody fucking listened to me. It's fine. It's fine. They really did make a lot of different assets specifically for this section of the game, huh? Because, like, everything on that shelf, right, is brand new. At least most of it is. Maybe some of the flasks and vials aren't, but most of it is exclusive to this area, right? This seems like, not like a terrible amount, but a lot for this one space that nobody's ever going to look at. Oh, I mean, I guess we're going to look at it a lot because it's just part of the background unless you're facing the opposite direction. Actually, I guess there's a mirrored shelf over here, right? So I guess you would still see it. Is it the same? No, they're different slightly. I see two bowls on this one and only one bowl at the top one there. Is that a salad? Did somebody forget their lunch? A pair of salads, I suppose. The draining on the potion sound effect sounds a little bit like Moogles to me from Final Fantasy. I know they say Koopo, if you, like, read the way that, like, translate that shit or whatever, but it doesn't sound like Koopo. It sounds like, like, uh, do -do -do -do. that doesn't, that's a terrible impression. It's like, it is like, it is like that kind of, that kind of a noise, but it doesn't sound like that noise. It sounds more like a doot doot than it, than it does Koopo, if that makes sense. I mean, it sounds like this potion training. It's really what I was trying to say. This. Yeah. That's what they sound like. I wonder if that is the sound of water. Or like liquid straining. Zelda says, I should be asleep. Ooh, yeah, baby, four hours of sleep. That's about what I got. Something like that. I went to sleep at, I think, 11. I mean, I kind of told you when I went to sleep, right? I was in your stream just before I went to bed. I think it was about 11. And then I woke up at like, I guess it would have been five or whatever. I had a nightmare about a zombie, like the most weak ass zombie. So I guess it was a zomboid zombie. Like stumbled through my door. And then like was walking up on me and I was like painting at the time, I guess. 
Because I had like a canvas, like an artist's canvas, right? That I like tried to like prop up against it and I so that it wouldn't be able to get me. And it tried to bite me in like my abdomen and it didn't. And then I like did a nice little twisty on his neck, like a real good twisty. And then I removed the head from the rest of the body, but he, uh, his hands were still grabbing. And that's when I woke up. So this is bro. My mind just refused to clock out. Yeah. After I woke up from that nightmare, I had a lot of trouble sleeping again, even though that was again, the most weak sauce nightmare. I've ever had. Delta says, paint me like one of your French zombies. Yeah, it was kind of like I was painting the zombie before it came through because I like saw it go through the door and I was painting. And I just wasn't prepared. I just wasn't prepared for it. I was like, I was like spooked entirely. <laughs> I had so much time because again, it was like a zomboid zombie. It's not like he ran me down or whatever. I was painting and I saw him before he came through the doorway. And then as he came for the doorway, I'm just watching him do it. Just like watching him come. <laughs> Delta says, did you wake up angry? No. I woke up disoriented like I often do. Like my first thought every time I wake up is where the fuck am I? <laughs> just about, just about every time. Um, there's a little bit of like, I weirdly enough, I've been, I've been here in this house for a long time, right? But most times when I wake up, I think I expect to see somewhere different than here. Um, to be fair though, for the first, I don't know, year that I was here, I would s sleep in the room basically directly below this one. So the room would look different than th this room does as well. So I do, I have seen in this same house, I've seen two different sites every time I wake up. Now that I think about it. So maybe I did like make it a little hard on myself. But even then, the room that I expect to see is when I was in college, basically. Uh, not the not the college's room, but like when I was at home during college. That's what I would expect to see for some reason. Most times when I wake up, which is very weird because that wasn't necessarily like a long part of my life or anything. I guess that's just where I'm stuck presently, which makes a lot of sense. No flunking out of college thing left a pretty big impact on my life, I think. It's a pretty noteworthy experience. Pretty significant as far as like outcomes go. You know, whatever, man. Sometimes you suck. That's me all the time. Speaking of sucking, Suck's got her special stream today. We're going to raid into her. That's going to be exciting. She's going to be playing Wind Waker, which might be my favorite Zelda game. I haven't played like really any Zelda game all the way through. I've done a little bit of Ocarina of Time, a little bit of Majora's Mask, a little bit of Wind Waker. No zero Twilight Princess. Zero Skyward Sword. None of the new ones, Breath of the Wild or the other one. Um, no Four Swords Adventure, no Link to the Past. So I guess it's just the three, huh, that I played. No Zelda 2. I played Zelda 1 a little bit, I'm pretty sure. But I never beat it. So four Zelda games, I guess. Zelda says, sometimes I get simulated dreams. As in, I play a possible scenario of the day, whether it be school or school. Damn. Damn. Don't worry, man. You're going to be out of school one day. 
and you're gonna you're gonna miss it probably unfortunately some in some ways you'll miss it in some ways you won't i'm sure the meal ticket thing is actually pretty nice I do like meal tickets. I, I would be comfortable still having meal tickets, which is kind of what food stamps are, I guess. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite the same. All right. What are we looking at now? 450. So that's like... If it's 10 each, then we probably get like three on average. Yeah, sure. That seems reasonable. So that means that we have like 15 left. Sure. 15. Why not? I'm certainly not, like, lining the inputs and the outputs up. I'm glad that somebody figured out, which might be Savage himself, was like, don't do the triple ones all the way. Because <laughs> I would have... I'm not figuring that out. That's all right. I don't care. It's like the ins and the outs and how much value you get. Like, I don't feel like doing that. That's okay. I don't, I don't want to pay that much attention. <laughs> Could I? Yeah, I'm sure. Not today, though. I'm I'm sleepy. I'm eepy. I'm eeping. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're good. We're not doing math. What's math done for me lately? You know? Oh, did I shout you out Delta? I don't think I did. Hold on. It's very important that I shout out Delta because if you want to see us play Zomboid, you're not going to be able to look here. There's not going to be any Zomboid here, but there will be Zomboid over there. Which is very important. It's a very, very important thing. So yeah, if you guys aren't following Delta D underscore zero three, that's my guy. He plays a lot of Ru uh, RuneScape. What the fuck? No, he doesn't. He played RuneScape at one point for like a day or two, but and he promises that he's going to get back and use that bond, but I don't know. Mostly he just plays Call of Duty nowadays, but he plays a bunch of different games as well. He plays a lot of um, EDF every Sunday. He plays Valheim with us. Every Saturday, he's going to be playing Zomboid with us as well, including this Saturday, which is today. Uh, definitely follow him for that because there's not going to be any Zomboid here, like I said before. And if you miss my, or if you miss his stream, then you're just not going to know what happens next Saturday. Ow, I bit my tongue. Next Saturday, you're just going to be like, why are we, why is there already a base? How did you guys get so much progress off stream? It's like, oh, well, there's a VOD for it, but it's not, I'm not live. Delta says, dude, main fear I have once I'm out is get a job. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks, dude. It sucks. Good luck. Though. No, you will be in a position where there's going to be a decent amount of people that are going to like try and help you find a place so like because it helps the university a lot if you have a job when you finish at university right so just use all of those resources to the fullest just make just put a lot of effort into asking and seeing and networking and getting to know people and stuff like that and you'll probably be able to find at least an initial gig and as soon as you get one job, it's easier to get other jobs as well. Generally, generally, especially if you're like in the right industry in the first job, it's easier to get another job as well. You just kind of like network through, like talk to people, develop relationships, stuff like that. I think you'll be all right, but definitely use the resources available to you in a big way. That'll matter. Pot action. Woo! Perfect. Perfect potting.
I guess I'm just going to use this on this potion because like I'm not going to be able to make any more mix-a-lots unless I go bank and I'm not doing that, right? So. Use it on the one that has more green. Sure. I like that it's rhythmic on that one. Diltus has got an uncle who's going to help me get, uh, Get help me out. H help me out. Get some certifications. Interesting. Uh, just some extra boast points in interviews. Wow. Interviews. Ew. Yeah, I haven't done any interviews. I've just, you know, I've been. I, <laughs> yo, <gasps> word of mouth does a lot for your boy. Let me put it that way. Interviews are like, that sucks. That sucks. Which is why I don't have such a negative view on interviews when I talk about like smug little bug or whatever. Because like the way that I view it is like from a journalism perspective where you're just like talking to somebody and they're just trying to get to know you better or whatever. It's like very cordial. Whereas those interviews are like strict, you know, like intensely focused, like very in analysis oriented, like literally gauging you up or whatever. Like, I could never. That's unreasonable, I think. No thanks, man. You know what I'd rather do than that? Anything else. This is this dude. I will never do great in an interview. I'm actually, you will actually crumble. Yeah, probably. Though you gotta imagine that a lot of people also don't interview very well. So like you just need to get like through it and it'll be fine as long as you get to the other side without like you know insulting their mother or something i don't know it'll probably be fine you know what i mean your mother smells of elderberries sorry i'm just really nervous <laughs> okay all right well you don't get the job that's for fucking sure <laughs> I don't know why you said all that. Like, you really didn't need to. Another beautiful day doing mixology, producing truly potent and probably poisonous fumes. I did the wrong potion. Nice. All right. Oh, perfect. We needed a skip potion anyway. Skip. How did I end up with so much red? I wonder if my math was like way off. I feel like in order to figure out how many herbs I needed, I kind of like rounded up a little bit. Maybe red was the one that I rounded up like the most. I mean, I should fucking hope so, right? Because I certainly have the most of it. take it just because it's here
Oh, they're all pots? Oops, all pots. There we go. Beautiful. We've still got like, what is it? Six more ish. Yeah. Obviously depends on what we actually get and all that as well. I think on average it should be about six. Oh, that's assuming that they're equally viable options, which I guess is not technically true. Hey, Savage. I think your mic is away from your face. Okay, is that better? Yes. Sorry about that. You're fine. I do that a lot. Yeah, it's okay. You'll be fine in the interview, Delta. And you know what? It's probably going to be awkward as fuck, but, you know, if you get the job, you won't remember that part. You'll remember the soul-crushing two years of your life working the job more than the interview. You know? That's probably true. Yeah. Hey, girl. I, oh, I always hated interviews, though. Who doesn't, right? Well, maybe <laughs> extroverts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me... Nah... Nah, I've never met one. An extrovert who likes introvert or yeah. who likes interviews, excuse me. Yeah. Gur says you got this. I believe in you. Yeah. That's some, I think that's it'll some be solid fine. Positivity. It will be, man. And if it's not, you know, it's fucking just be homeless. Just be they ain't homeless. Got it so bad. True. They ain't got it so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go on. <laughs> that's all I got, man. That's the only lie oh, I can tell. Lydia. I see. I see. All right. Fair enough. Delta says, I definitely will not. Can confidently say my resume would have to carry me so fucking hard. Well, keep adding points to that shit then. <laughs> Just do some sociopath shit, dude. Mm -hmm. Just go um, Google the boss and mm -hmm. hit his daughter. Damn. Make her the happiest woman alive. Make her the happiest woman alive, Maria. Get a yeah. job. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Miss Google. Yeah. Or find some dirt on the boss and blackmail him. It's not that hard, Delta. Just life, you know? You know what's a great way to find some dirt on the boss? Yeah. Dating his daughter. Yeah, his daughter will tell you. Yeah. There you go. You're welcome. Hey, the undrafted. What's up, dude? What's going on, Pickle Cam? Hey, Pickle. Hey, fellow Pickle. Fellow Pickle? I suppose so. <laughs> Yeah. We have a special edition, Savage. Uh, the Undrafted is not only a streamer, but also a podcast, which I recommend you check out. And if you don't know who the Undrafted is as a streamer, don't worry. You'll see him not today, but tomorrow when we play some Valheim with him. Uh, in the meanwhile, you can catch him playing various different games, most notably uh, Grand Theft Auto. He plays a lot of Grand Theft Auto nowadays. Uh, and it's a good time. It's mostly just vibes. Just chases whatever dragon he happens to, you know, cross. <laughs> whatever... Whatever yeah. encounter he happens to walk, stumble into, they just do like random missions and shit. Doesn't seem like there's any like overarching like goals or whatever that they're working to. They're just vibing, you know what I mean? Hanging out, doing some Grand Theft Auto oh. shit. I love that shit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just one day a week? Yeah, but you know. Yeah, but that's the cool. one day that I am able to catch you, apparently. Because I've seen <laughs> I've seen you play nothing but Grand Theft Auto for Me like too. the last five or six weeks. Me too, actually. Every time I, I catch the stream, it's GTA. Which isn't to say that it's like a problem. Like I'm down with that. I just I just never see you play anything else nowadays, which is fine to me. Uh what else do you play then? Mr. One a week? What do what do you got? What do you got for me? Valheim. Huh? Yeah, of course, of course. We got RuneScape. that one. Yeah, true. He has played RuneScape too. 
I'm out of Aga. That's all right. All right. See if you got enough to buy this thing then. Yeah, I'll finish this first. Valheim. Yeah, of course. You gotta stick all your pots in the in the hopper too. Like, like these it. guys? Yeah, might as well. Save you bank space. You never come back here, right? I don't know. I might, right? Because it's profitable well, herb lore experience. How slow is it? What is? Uh, what seventy k an hour. Seventy k an hour. Sweaty. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do that then. Yeah, you're gonna get two hundred and like seventy. So what? Just do all of these, these just all randomly? These. Yeah, mm -hmm. just all these. Yeah. That's that's the quickest one. Cossacks three. I don't think I know that one. You gonna start playing Eve this Monday? Yeah, I saw you start up Eve. Eve. Yes. Wow. In this year. Yeah, Lilium Cobra, which is like a, a mutual friend of ours, mutual streamer of ours, uh, has been playing Eve. She only just started it fairly recently as well. Not like recently, recently, but within the last like I don't know six months or something like that. But yeah, I think. Uh, think that's her influence would be my guess that's the only person i know of that is like that we both mutually are aware of that actually plays eve online and she plays a lot well, of it. i hope you like spreadsheets it seems like it's actually a lot more vibing as well it's kind of like saying on it's RuneScape, than spreadsheets yeah no 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 i'm like it's like saying with runescape like i hope you like the wiki where it's like well you don't need the wiki but you probably should use it depends how deep you get yeah, yeah. i guess yeah I think you could just like do whatever, you know, constantly and it's fine. But yeah, I don't really, I don't really know. I, I was there for probably a couple, maybe three hours or whatever, watching EVE Online. And I learned probably nothing from watching that it's stream. It's very, it's very in-depth. <laughs> Right, rewards, baby. Let's see how extra how many extra points you got left. All right, so you want the amulet, amulet and, and goggles. goggles? Yeah. Wow. Do I have like way yeah. more points than I need? Yeah, I say, yeah, man. Quite. Mm, you're low on lie, but yeah. whatever. It'll be like a mil, less than a mil. Yeah, Aldarium you want to buy mm. buying. These are for like leveling. They're just random potion packs, yeah. You got like prayer pots and whatever. They're just less money than the uh secondary at the moment, so there's no point. Sure. Alright. There's a free version of Eve, I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a paid version of Eve. The Undrafted says her husband, Snide Dog, raided me with 172 viewers and they convinced me to play oh, it. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Bullying. Actually yeah. bullying. Okay, Actually, good luck with that. Yeah, that's crazy. I do remember seeing uh, a lot of people in your stream one day, so that must have been what happened there, huh? That's crazy. I knew Snide Dog was a streamer as well, yeah. Uh, he's also a mutual friend, obviously. Should we, should we bully more? Should we raid um, people streaming WoW with one viewer and make them play RuneScape? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we need to choose a better community than WoW specifically because we want them to be like... Yeah, yeah. We want them to be like old mean, school man. RuneScape vibes or whatever, not like RS3 vibes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, true, true. It's a very abrupt shift. All right, go sell your potions before they crash any harder. <laughs> sure. Speaking of jobs, though, I was mm. watching this um this video. These two voice actors, uh, they found their voices on on a website that just mm -hmm. like a AI voices or whatever. Sure. And they were like really angry about it. It's justified to be angry about that, right? Yeah, I think so. And this lady says. I was all about AI when uh when I thought it was gonna be folding my clothing and uh doing my dishes. Now it's but now it's uh it's taking people's jobs. I'm like, you fucking bitch. 
People do that for a job. People do do that for a job. Yeah. yeah. Like, wow, you self-centered whore. Well, to be fair, there is a difference between, like, the arts and, like, menial labor or whatever, which is kind of, like... Yeah, we... they think it's better. Fuck those guys. Well, no, I think everybody wanted, like, humanity to be able to exist by just doing arts and creative things, right? <laughs> Like, since time immemorial, like, that's kind of the goal. It's like, people do art for fun. They don't wash dishes for fun. It's just not, doesn't work They do it for money, yeah. You can do art, you can do as much voice acting as you like for fun. You're just not going to get paid for it anymore. Good luck. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. It's like, in theory, you wouldn't need money anymore as well as, like, as that pans out. It doesn't quite work that way, but that's the, that's the conceit, right? Like, I get it, but, like, surely... They won't need money either, then. Who? The, the, the creative people. Well, yeah, but that that would only make sense if the creative jobs disappearing didn't mean that they didn't need to do uh, menial jobs then, right? Because those jobs still exist, which means that there's still a labor market, right? So the idea yeah. is if the menial jobs go away, there is no labor market at all. There's only creative endeavors that you just choose to pursue. You don't even do it for money necessarily. I get what you're saying. She really come off Croft as really pretentious and in her own little bubble. I fucking despise that. Sure. But yeah, I don't, oh. I don't like. Oh yeah, get, get, rid, get rid of all the jobs. Get rid of mm. all the jobs. Give us money. I'm fine with that. Some people are gonna have panic attacks if they can't work though. You can work. I don't think anybody wants to stop people from working. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, they'll still they'll go, they'll go against it, bro. It's not human. It's not human. That's what they'll, that's what they'll say. It's not natural. <laughs> what is natural is working for a mega corporation. Is it? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I think it's time to sell stuff. Yeah, why not? Your just says, yes, it was peer pressure, but I gained more followers out of it. Doo -doo. <laughs> okay, that's a slippery slope. Good luck with that, bro. Yeah, no, I don't think followers are going to bully me to do shit. I'm going to be real. It'd be different if my chat was bullying me to do shit, but it's not the people from a raid. They're not going to bully me to do shit. You know what I mean? Like the people that show here, show up every day or whatever, like, yeah, you could probably bully me to do stuff. Cam's <laughs> gonna be crypto gambling next week. Yeah, no shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I hope you have fun, man. No, oh, yeah. A lot of people like Eve. Man, you got a lot of bullshit. Yeah. At least random. Oh, the mole kills. The mole kills. And the bird nests, I guess. Yeah, I do bird nests pretty often. Every farm run, right? Yindraps says, to be honest, the game looks really boring. I can't imagine I'll be playing it after Monday. That's fair, man. That's fair. You never know, you might like it, you know? It's really hard for me to sell anyone on that particular... A guy that was uh, really into EVE was trying to convince me that mm -hmm. the group boss and RuneScape was a good idea because they were into EVE mm -hmm. and the whole the whole managing people and stuff mm -hmm. and uh, making a community that logs on three hours a day. They have literal work shifts. I'm like, dude, mm -hmm. I don't play that. I don't play RuneScape for that. I don't want to be a general manager. Mm -hmm. I want to play a fucking video game. <laughs> so, no. I mean... I certainly don't want to be a general manager for free. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, free hours a day. <laughs> you fucking kidding Here's me? Your time slot. You know what's better than being a general manager for free? Making fucking anything. Fucking six figures a day, or, or six figures a year, excuse me for it. Eating harm is better. It sure is. Eating an entire harm. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> I would do that for free the buff stop <laughs> stop <laughs> 
air orbs? Oh, that must be from Huey. Yeah. What was it, 82 you needed for her blow? 81. Oh, 81. Okay, that's not even that much at all. Yeah. Probably got that today. Yeah, I've been saying that for like the last four streams. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shit happened a little bit though. What the fuck? Actively traded price 1800 gold? Why did the yeah. Solicept Good question. market crash so <laughs> fucking hard? <laughs> oh, because more people are doing it because the region pouch can hold the mushrooms. Oh. Not those, mush not those mushrooms, but they're probably testing out. They hold the uh, more Maya ones. That's fucking crazy, dude. It's like, yo, I just I just got these expecting to get 5k each for them or whatever, 4k each for yeah. them. And they're worth fucking 1800 gold right now. That's fucked up. What happened? <laughs> it's pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, I'm letting that shit slow sell. We're going to keep that shit right there for a few days. And hope in that order. Fair enough. Same with like, um, basically anything that I have a lot of, jute, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Indraptor says, true, but I watched Il Ilium, uh, Lilium Cobra play it for a little over an hour and had no idea what was going on. It for real looked like she was doing spreadsheets, but our viewers loved it. I asked when I'd see some action and it actually offended some of our viewers. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah. Delta it, says, they seem like a very, yeah, a very like closed off group of people who play a, a very specific game. Mm -hmm. Saying it's boring, like you don't understand. Mm -hmm. If you look at spreadsheet number six, on the seventh column. Saku only has 50 KC left for Sire. That's exciting. <laughs> Delta says, do the mods auto download for Zomboid? I forget. Uh, basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can join, uh, join the server and you'll be fine, brother. Mm -hmm. It Well, you might not be fine. La when we tested it yesterday, it was... It worked once and broke once, so we'll see. It worked once, it broke once, and when it was working, it was extremely fucking framey, even for my choppy. 4090. So... It was choppy, yeah. So... I did look into it. Apparently you can turn off uh, shadows and it helps a ton. Or, you know, just play it normally. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll do that then. Good morning, Wyvern. Hi, Wyvern. What is that? What is that little thing waving at me? It's a That's little a creature. Panda. Oh, sure it is. Yeah, her, um... Her boyfriend is also a streamer who is a panda, I believe. Oh. Ah. Wait. Her boyfriend is... Also a panda who is a streamer. Yes. I think I, I was like, wait, I think I said that in slightly the wrong order. <laughs> uh, we got it. <laughs> like, not like terribly wrong, but just like a little bit weird. <laughs> uh, okay. I want this to go away. There we go. No, we can sell these two. Sure. Why do I have... Have what? Two halves Half of pizzas. pizzas. Yeah. That was your juke, bro. Stick yeah. them together, obviously. That seems wrong. Nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Get your pizza glue out. Bop. You made 640. <laughs> what the fuck? That's money? <laughs> How much is a half a pizza? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? You made so much money. <laughs> you can't buy half pizza, Seven. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I was fucking... I was fiending, bro. scratching my neck. I was gonna buy half pizza. No, you fucking weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you certainly fucking weren't. You thought. You fucking thought. 
Yeah, I fall, I fall. Saki says, maybe Sire isn't so bad. He gets destroyed by Emberlight. Yeah, I haven't done Sire yet. Oh, you did Sire with Emberlight, didn't you, Savage? Yeah, I did, yeah. It's, uh, it's an easy fight for no reward. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, I just remembered, uh, the Undrafted said that, uh, Lillian Cobra wasn't doing anything, she was just looking at spreadsheets when she was playing, and the viewers were loving it. Uh, I saw Lillian Cobra fight, like, I don't yeah. even know what it was, like, it was some kind of confrontation that she was in, right? And, it still looked boring. <laughs> it's it very looked, slow. Yeah! Yeah, it looked like a real-time strategy game, you know what I mean? Where it was just like, mostly just waiting. Hey, Suck. Suck says, what do you mean, Suck? Today's, today's the day. You're going to play Wind Waker. Today's mm. the day. Mm -hmm. Hey, Suck, how you doing? Yeah, we're playing Zomboid for the first time today, but not here. We have to do it on Delta's stream and Chussie's stream instead. Because was, I'm uh, not going to be streaming, obviously. Was, uh... Oh, not much. I just had chicken dinner. And I'm now, I'm now drinking a Coke. I've got a very exciting life. <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what else I'm doing, but it's so exciting. I'm oh, like blowing mind. <laughs> I see, I see. I see, I see. What are we doing? A uh, potion making, herb lore yeah. training. There's a potion yeah, making skill in Mabinagi. It's called potion making. <laughs> well, they should have called it herb law, stupid. D there are herbs in Mabinagi. <laughs> the thing. Should have added herbs, it's dumb. <laughs> Sucks saying hello to everyone individually is so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> She's just nice, Panda. It's you just, can take it's a leaf out of her book, maybe. No, I could never do that. No. Be nice. No. I, I'll say, say one nice thing. Uh, uh, one nice thing. I'll say hello to one person. Who's like the first person who says hello to me. I'll say hello to them. And then if anybody else says hello, I'll, I get a generic hello. You know what I mean? To like anyone else who wants oh. to be involved. That's as You're much so as rude. I'm willing to do. You're so nah. oh. oh, God. <laughs> that was it. That yep. was it. That's it. That was it, Suck, really? Yep, that's it. That was literally it. it was us, Suck. <laughs> Suck's such a little creature. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little gremlin. Yeah, a little bit. So, did you want to try the... Oh, I guess I just sold my Alderin potions. That's funny. Yeah, fuck that shit, dude. So, Renar's then? <laughs> Pre Pre yeah, Renar potions and Snapegrass. Mm-hmm. Oh, I should see how many I need, right? Maybe, maybe that'll. I'll tell you right. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, four thousand. Okay. No. No. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. It's so much money, Savage. You'll make most of it back. <laughs> One. Yeah. Really? Oh my god. It worked. <laughs> oh, you wanted me to do more than one? No, no, no. That, that would, yeah, I did actually, but yeah, you obviously showed me up. Um, I think we do one here too. Yeah. I, obviously, we're worried about the snake grass much less, right? You need to buy some amulets of chemistry too. Yeah. Do I have any? Probably not. Wait, are those amulets of chemistry? God damn! Sure fucking are. Nice. <laughs> can Bubbles I do them? Before the market. Yeah. Can Can I do Just them? Grab them all. No, did you? Yeah. Okay. Put your goggles on. <laughs> what if I just got one? What if you got all of them, bro? <laughs> what if I just got one? What if you uh stopped? <laughs> Stop. Stop. Put your fucking prescription goggles on then. Wow, that's this is like a huge quality of life thing. That's amazing, yeah. 
Not only is it quality of life, it actually increases the chance of it happening. Yeah, true. All right, fuck with your inventory so they're in a good spot. I'm on the last tab or whatever. Yeah. Is that... It, like, doesn't super go, but it's fine, I guess. You put bank fillers in after making an inventory. Yeah, it's true. Do I have slots for... Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's like, do I have slots for potions? <laughs> And uh, switch your axe to 14. Yeah. Now, this is going to be gaming right now. Beautiful. And this is life now. This is life for at least 4,000, yeah. Yeah. Apparently you're making money right now. I don't think that's nope. true. No, no, it's going down. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, she blows. No, no. It's kind of like... Yeah. It's whenever you get a four-door, so kind of yeah. like save. Yeah. Oh. 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 Uh, I get oh. a four doors. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, why did it go? Why was it a 2k swing? What the fuck was that? 2k is a four doors, yeah. <laughs> the price is just that different. Wait, what the fuck? Why do I have fucking stick? Oh, because, you oh, say because it saves every now and then. Right. That's why it was a 2k swing. I got it. Wow. I got way the too much snake pouch? grass then. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the region pouch, um, would make this process really nice if you didn't save a few. Saving a few fucks it all up. Yeah, I see. That's interesting. And these numbers are just diverging now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sexes want me to do it again. Delta's is coughing up a lung right now. Suck at drinking. Damn dude, later man. <laughs> What's up? Delta says, I'm thinking of that one vid when I hear what's up. Is it, is it that scary movie? Budweiser it's a Budweiser commercial. Oh, it's a Budweiser commercial that they decided to co-opt in a scary movie? That's yes. crazy. That's crazy. Obviously, Delta doesn't remember the Budweiser commercial because it was like 15 years before he was fucking born or whatever. Yeah. It was a bunch of frogs. They made those noises. You remember Quiznos subs? Uh, I'm not American. But you know Budweiser commercials? <laughs> That's international, bro. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to know what's international or not, man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, know. Care about what people's cultures? <laughs> Actually, I do. Cringe. Do you? Yeah, they're all American. I know. I know. American Very. subsection. <laughs> I know enough about your culture. <laughs> Delta says, what the fuck? Channel TV still showed those old ass commercials? What the fuck is Channel TV? What does that mean? Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about, Delta? <laughs> are you talking about like television with channels? <laughs> what the fuck is Channel TV, brother? Yours says, come on, Fander, your ignorance is showing. My American really is. is showing. Same thing, really, though, isn't That's, it? That's, yes, but one of those things you could be proud of. <laughs> God bless America and nowhere God, else. Yeah, goddamn right. I was gonna say that myself. You're all, you all look like you're making money on every one of these. Yeah, somehow. I think it's just because of the snake grass, though. So, like, it, it's not considering how much money I spent on this. If that makes sense. Uh, you'd still be losing money if you lost. It is going down. Huh? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's just the four doses then, mostly. Well, strike while the iron's hot, I guess. This should say a number on it. It does if you click check. Yeah, but it should just say a number on it. You know? can with rune light. But it doesn't, though, right? You haven't got the plugin for it. That's okay. A, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's right. Sit down. 
Delta's is cable TV that better? So yeah, she meant like regular ass television, brother. The fuck is yeah, channel TV, bro. It's like, <laughs> like all TVs have channels. I've never used a television without it using like the Channels. televisions yeah you know what i mean like it's always that's how you delimit one program from another is with the channels yeah no uh, you just go on the app bro oh my fucking god dude that's what yeah. tvs are now they're just big tablets yeah kind of i don't use i haven't used the television since you know cable network whatever tv you know what i mean i haven't used i haven't used it with regards to i've never used a television with apps on it you know what i mean uh like uh, i barely used the 360 with apps i stopped using it right when they rolled out the like app variant I of used, it or whatever i did like netflix on the 360 i remember that yeah i certainly fucking didn't i did netflix on the ps2 for a bit what the fuck that's real bro that doesn't seem possible look it up <laughs> look up netflix ps2 they made a disc yeah, that's fucking crazy even online play on a PlayStation 2 is like already kind of fucking crazy. Like, cause like you it, stick the huge ass fucking thing in the back. Yeah. It's very, very early for that shit. I had like a NES emulator on my PS2 at some point. What the fuck? Yeah, what man, is wrong playing with lemmings. You? Playing lemmings on my PS2. You're not all that shit is so fucking illegal. <laughs> so what are you going to do? I'm gonna report you to the fucking authorities, man. It's not alright for you to play oh, the NES Sony shit. console? Yeah, on the Sony console. Yeah, they're both gonna be fucking upset. They're gonna collaborate to see you out of existence, brother. It's fucked up. I did so many weird I did so much weird shit on my PS2, bro. When I ironically used to watch The Walking Dead on it. <laughs> I downloaded The Walking Dead on it with um, USB and plugged it into my PS2 to watch it with my buddy. Because it was the only way we could watch it on my TV. That's fucking strange. I was a strange man. I still am a strange man. Yeah. I got better though. I got better. <clears throat> I wish. I think I'm worse, marginally. Nah, you're just, just having one of those days, bro. You're way better. I'm just very tired. <laughs> yeah, you're just tired. You're not worse. You're just actually sleepy. Uh, I think being tired is worse. It's not extremely. Okay. It's, yeah, but on an it, average, it's a temporary you know, debuff. Just, yeah, you just a shitter at the minute. One of my favorite quotes from you of all time, and it's a shame yeah. that we weren't streaming at the time. Is, okay. Is you say stop treating me like a fucking debuff? <laughs> <laughs> you were though. <laughs> You would be doing. You, we were doing that. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely happened like that. But it was that was so that was so fucking funny. Oh, that was so long. I, I don't remember the rest of the conversation at all, or the conversation up to that point. But I remember the rest of the conversation was just me laughing. <laughs> like that was. Too, Sounds about right. Too fucking funny. Too fucking funny. I think I was like playing up being mad at you or whatever and like whatever i was pretending to be mad at you for i was not worried about ever again that was way too funny <laughs> to be worried about anything else yo what Good times what the fuck is this gold god damn it's literally just money, money? yeah okay get 99 herb now before it breaks yeah no shit what's your xp now by the way oh um it's not gonna be true right because I, I didn't reset it. Yeah, reset that shit. Yeah. It's supposed to be 218 or so. Something like that, yeah. Helps if I get the snake grass, though. Delta says, imagine your RuneScape girlfriend said that. What's your experience per hour? Stop treating me like a fucking debuff. <laughs> I feel like smile. There aren't a lot of debuffs in RuneScape, actually, weirdly enough. Is that one snowy place? Uh that's about it. Like you do get affected by shit every now and then, but it's like during bruise, a bruise. boss, you know what I mean? Bruise. Bruise, yeah. That's about it though. Yeah, there aren't very many like true debuffs that like are really like a thing. 
like the mo the closest you get is like boss mechanics which is technically true for other games as well but like in like wow and shit like you have to like pay a lot of attention to that shit and like in 14 you have like estina to remove debuffs and shit like that as well every now and then usually actually i like the way 14 does um boss fights where the idea is like if you fail a mechanic you get a debuff that makes it so that you take more damage right and that it's that stacks basically infinitely until you just get one shot eventually obviously and um if you get revived during the fight like if you die and then the healer revives you your stats are like 20 percent less as well so it like it has a way of like keeping people in the game without like punishing them hardcore for failing every mechanic like anytime they fail a mechanic it doesn't punish them super duper hard but it does stress your whole team so it's like it's like resource management kind of ultimately it's like if if everyone does them ra raid perfectly there's much less for the healers to do right and the more people are fucking up the more it can like kind of cascade out of control as well where the healers just constantly overburdened and eventually running out of mana or whatever i like i like 14's mechanics for stuff it's very different than this game obviously though everything is yeah it's true I think every game is different, but RuneScape is a little more different than most other games as well. RuneScape and Eve, shit like that, yeah, where they're yeah. like kind of their own, kind of their own thing, mostly almost. What was that other space game they made? The one that they didn't finish making? Yeah. Star Citizen? My buddy Orko is always talking about how good it is. I'm like, is it though, man? You're stacking boxes. I'm watching you do it. Yeah, I'm watching you do it. But like, think about it this way. You, your favorite part of... That was his argument. That was his argument to me as well. Starbound was running into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Up, I didn't even finish saying the thing. Like, you and I knew what I was going to say, but like everyone else here was like, what the fuck? What's the rest of your sentence? You gotta let me finish. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like some of those stories aren't just for us you know what i mean like <laughs> now we should talk in code I'll let the chat understand anything we're saying yeah 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 if you're if you're a tier three sub then you'll understand the joke um <laughs> we'll give you the fucking the codex ring the decoder ring yeah drink more ovaltine wow they don't put toys in cereal anymore What's they don't nah fuck what the fuck what the fuck i'm actually so me. upset yeah i was not prepared yeah, for that at all yeah man gender eggs suck too yeah but those don't exist in america anyway so it's fine you got it you got it good yeah we got like a block of wood <laughs> <laughs> a block of wood that you have to provide your own illegal ass knife to carve <laughs> No, it's like a, it's like carved into a toy already. Scissors. It's carved into a toy already. It, you can't build anything now. Mm. One child dies and suddenly it's a my problem. Come on. Maybe it was a very important child. Name an important child. They're all adults now. Shit, you're right. <laughs> I realized um, Malcolm in the middle had Shiloh or no had um, what's his name? Elijah Wood and Brian Cranston, right? Yeah. As yeah. their premier roles, like the first real roles that they've ever had. And they both went on to do much more important things in pop culture. <laughs> much, much more. He was so typecast. Yeah. Brian Cranston. Yeah. Yes. Everyone thought it was a yes. I've tried to convince people to watch Breaking Bad. I'm like, oh, really? Him? Yeah. Welcome a middle dad? Yeah. I don't know. It's fucking... I had to choke them, make them watch it. It's... He, that... And obviously his much... His best role for sure is Walter White. No doubt, right? It's not his oh, only role, cool. obviously. He's no, done other obviously stuff. obviously. It was, it was scientist in Godzilla. He was, um... A barkeep in... What was it? The One of Pyro's movies. Um... Drive or whatever? Baby Driver? No, no, no. Drive? Ba is, I think Drive is a movie. Yeah, I think the movie is Drive. It's the one with um Ken from the Barbie movie, I believe. Hans. 
Yeah. Yes, I believe it was. I think he was the barkeep specifically there or whatever. But anyways, and if not that, it's like exactly that sphere of movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And where he plays basically Walter White. Uh, but anyways, I like calls. Uh, Brian Cranston does. Hi, bro. Oh, I see. I mean, like it, it could be Brian Cranston too. I don't fucking know. Most people do, I guess. Um, no, he likes terrible vodka. <laughs> There's good <laughs> vodka. <laughs> that was all, all the same. No, it's all the same apart from the one he makes, which is bad. <laughs> Him and Jesse Pinkman, man, they're making vodka and it sucks. Sorry, but it does. That's so funny. Also, why are we calling him Brian Cranston, but <laughs> the other guy? <laughs> Okay, what's the name of the Jesse Pinkman's actor? I don't fucking no one know. Knows. Yeah, exactly. That's why. <laughs> Sorry, um, Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, that's so funny to me. But yeah, um, Elijah Wood. In case you didn't know, is probably most known for Frodo, right? Which is Lord of the Rings, which is like the most important fantasy IP end of sentence i think right is there something yeah, yeah. more important than lord of the rings i don't think so fantasy what's type i don't think so lord of the rings two towers on ps2 <laughs> <laughs> that might be the most important fantasy video game to be honest yeah no nah, that's skyrim but like without the lord of the rings two towers there is no skyrim genuinely oh it was the building blocks of skyrim i see like genuinely i think I, I think you're right that like skyrim is very very important but skyrim is only possibly because there is the keystone of the tw tw twin towers the two towers <laughs> sure. yeah um, yeah two towers not twin towers that's a different thing yeah uh <laughs> <laughs> lord of the rings and the twin towers yeah, i no. didn't think they should have made that to be honest. yeah no it seemed a little bit culturally insensitive i'm gonna be honest shout out to deus ex if you know, you know. We must change the name of Lord of the Rings to mm -hmm. England. Because it means a bit, means something else. Yeah. Weird. Y'all, you can use your imagination. Oh, okay, good. Saku says, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at least you know. What's the dog doing? Every time I Good see spot. someone in Void, I'm like, what Why? content are you possibly doing right now? <laughs> PKing. Damn, really? PK yeah, PKing on a, on a weird account that can't wear anything better. I see. Oh, they're lost. Yeah, they are fucking lost. That's for fucking sure. Oh, it's all right, mate. Yeah, take his medicine today. Yeah? Yeah. It's okay. Had no. to fucking cover that shit in cheese. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. All right, good. I love that. Nothing more appetizing than a heartworm medication covered in cheese. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. He keeps eating around the medication, eating the he cheese. Does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he did it three times. God, man. Gotta fucking stick half digested heartworm medication into a block of cheese again. <laughs> Gross. You can never say that about wanting a dog. Yeah. Yeah. There are Picking some the people shit. who like, um, who like, will just like put it in their dog's mouth. Yeah, I ain't got a golden retriever though. <laughs> What is that? Golden Retriever's they, like extremely... They will just eat it. Yeah. Yeah, they'll just eat it, yeah. I've got oh, a no. Chihuahua and a Jack Russell, two of the most stubborn things mixed together. Yeah, true. I, I, they don't, <laughs> I, I don't know how they do it with Golden Retrievers necessarily, but I mean like, not like put it in their mouth. I mean like put it in, put it like Oh, in, and then just tilt it down. Yeah, like, yeah. Like put it like way, like you have to be sure that it's the food one and not the air one or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put it in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, instructions unclear, but in its <laughs> nostril. Yeah. I mean, have you seen the guy? Your dog? Yeah. Look at this guy. I I can't. 
<laughs> I can't. You can't. You can't now. No, I can't. I can't do it. I, I, I mean, you can't do it. I have I to go through and set it. Yeah, I have to go through and like make all like it's not. Oh, <laughs> I'm sick of your excuses. Whatever, man. All right. Like money it's... me now. Money me now. <laughs> money me now, indeed. I. I. Money me. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Do you want French girl, garden yawn, or low French judgment girl. or threshold step? The fuck is threshold? I'll give me threshold step, I guess. <laughs> garden yawn, French girls. What the fuck? Oh, it is. Gonna... Oh, all right. I'm going to do the test alert. It's a threshold step. <laughs> is it? Yeah. He's happy. Look at him smiling. <laughs> like that's definitely a threshold step. Yeah, it was. It's really like slippers. Yeah. He's like, wow. Wow, that's slippers. <laughs> wow, it's so. You're gonna, you're gonna save so much time whenever you want to change between activities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Threshold step. Where are you? There it is. Let me slide this over here. Still always being maxing, obviously. Look how happy he is. It's him all the time, brother. Right now he's upset with me because I, I made him eat hot with medication. <laughs> Spa. Oh, oh, I actually like that. Did that in one minute? Holy shit. What fucking legend? Can't believe that shit. If you had spot in your house, would you A love him? That's all. All the <laughs> options. Uh I go thought away. you were gonna go with like a song. <laughs> like if you love them, <laughs> let them go or something. I'm never letting spot go. Yeah, obviously. If you love them, keep them close, I say. Jesus Christ. Suffocate them. <laughs> Don't let them escape. Yes. Munchausen syndrome. Am I right, Spot? <laughs> yes. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Can't see a herb log going on now. What do you mean? Spots over it. Oh, that's fine. You should be looking at the herb lore XP. Spot should be looking at the herb lore experience. Oh, oh your inventory. He's so happy, but you're not XP wasting. Okay, hold on. I can do this. One second. There you go. Ah, <laughs> you're a genius. He's like, wow. Look at those potions go. <laughs> <laughs> and now the next time I do a new spot picture, I'm going to be like, why the why fuck is it, is it backwards? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, but why is it backwards? All right. I mean, okay. I'm meant to be saving points, but I just use this redeem too much. <laughs> what are you saving points for? To fucking get you some sleep. Yeah, that's all right. I don't need that. That's all right. That's why I'm saving points. Because I can't <laughs> convince you. <laughs> Asshole. Whatever. I stop stream when I when it warrants. When stopping. I like. <laughs> yeah, I do. But food, basic human needs on on, they're not warranted to stop, right? Yeah. So, yeah, again, <laughs> I'm saving points. <laughs> Look, man. You can't. I, I am looking. I'm looking at the points and they're not going up. I'm worried. <laughs> number go down. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, number go down. No, not number go down. You haven't lost like any money at all. I think you're gaining money. Yeah, every time I do an inventory, it seems like I gain money somehow. 
unironically, maybe do this. Just keep doing it until you lose money. I'm not sure what you mean by keep doing it. Oh, you mean like keep buying 99. more unfinished potions until 99? Yeah. My second 99 is herb lore? Ew. Be so nice to get out of the way though. We'll stop we'll at 98. We'll save like 200 mil. We stop at 98. Stop at 98? Okay, okay. <laughs> About 50 XP to go, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. like second 99 herb lore is icky. Accidentally cleans a herb farming, gets it. Yeah, I think, I think. Uh, we, we leave like 5k or something. We leave a, a decent little buffer. Be fine. But yeah, no, I don't think second 99 herb lore. That's that's icky. No, I, what am I a fucking pay to winner? You know what I mean? Yeah, like <laughs> that's true. That's true. I've never seen it this good, especially since my first one was farming. People are going to think that I bought magic trees. You know what I mean? No, no, <laughs> just lie to them. Say it. I used all my herbs to do herbal. That's why I have more farming XP. What? Wait, do you think yeah, it's possible? It. With your XP, probably. Yeah. Because we haven't actually gone through that many thousands of Renar, right? And yeah. we've sold definitely thousands of Renar. It's possible that we could actually have gotten these. Mm -hmm. Huh. You make them prep outs too, so. Yeah. Which is like the thing that you just do in this game. You just make prayer pots like the whole way, basically. Yeah. Until like yeah, 90, like... and then you can start making money. No, no, no. When you get to 90, it changes. You don't make money. That's what happens to everyone. <laughs> they, they're like, when, oh, I can't wait to get to 90. When you get to 90. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you get to 90 personally, it will change. It'll be profitable for everyone else. Mm -hmm. It's not you, Pan. Yeah, good, good. Trust me on that. Good, good, good. I can't believe we saw Saku go through 300 caskets, bro. I went back to his vod and watched the masters. Yeah. Pretty rough. Six out of eight masters, and he got a torture, I believe. Kit. Yeah, yeah. An alarming torture kit, which he won't use. You, uh, they were saying that it's possible that that'll save him some money when he dies, or whatever. Yeah, but he's probably gonna upgrade it, isn't he, to a. Rancor. Ranker? Not anytime soon, though, right? God, I hope not. And even if he does upgrade it to a Ranker, he might use the the one just to save him. Yeah, you yeah. can remove the, the ornament kit. So. I'm, I'm sure that he's got... Well, I don't... It, I'm it's not a sure, useful but, item. It's more yeah. useful than anything else he got. Yeah. It's possible that he ended up... Get, uh, He ends up with more than one Xenite, to be real with you. <laughs> like, that he just has an extra one to make another torture. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> just, just one for the ornament kit, one for the ranker. It wouldn't surprise me at all. He keeps extra shit all the time, you know what I mean? Fair. What exactly is happening in this game, right? So, like, mm. we have these goggles that save secondary ingredients, right? Yeah. So, I mix state grass into this potion. Yes. And... There's just extra. Oh, surprise! There's more snake grass here. You like what the fuck? <laughs> How? Huh? How? No, the... wait. Yo, you're getting getting them a less potent prayer potion. You're cutting a little bit of snake grass every oh, potion you make. I see. Making it a full one. I see. I see. Saki says even I wouldn't do that. Make an extra torture. Yeah, it's a bit much. I, I wouldn't farm for an extra Xenite, but if you got an extra Xenite, drop because... it to your man. I don't know about that. I he doesn't I would. he doesn't drop fucking anything to his main is the thing. He drops he fucking should, especially with the state of his bank now of all this close fucking thing. <laughs> well, he probably is trying to drop some of that shit. Yeah, Gers says you look at it very carefully and see that you drop some. Oh yeah. I see. Like oh shit, how did I make that prayer potion if I drop this on the ground? Oh well. <laughs> So like, blind spot what do you mean? Goggles. I dropped shit to my main. I dropped a basilisk gel last time. Yeah, but you fucking hate dropping things to your main. There was... What was it? Uh, The most the most important thing to drop to your main would be like a third age, right? And you were like, nah, I wouldn't do that. It's vanity. Like, brother. That, that, that is vanity, though. 
Nah, if ever there was a thing not, if, there, if ever there was a thing to drop to your main, it's gotta be the most valuable things, right? But it's so much vanity though. <laughs> I would drop it, I would drop it, but it, an Iron Man holding that is like, wow. You yeah. got that. Nah, I would drop that shit in a fucking heartbeat, brother. Are you you don't me? give a shit about fashion though. That's true. Saki says, but it's on an Iron Man. I totally get that. <laughs> Send it into a crystal pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even tell. I think anyone's done that shit. Probably one guy. Probably. Scott, why are you being a loaf of bread? Because he loves it. It does look like he loves it. He Trap learned it from arm. his cat friend. Oh, smudge. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy, he misses her. I'm sad now. <laughs> you can just get another pet. Won't be the same. Well, yeah. But he could also love a new friend. He loves everyone. So yeah. <clears throat> Except for Apart from my one of my neighbors, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. What did they do? <laughs> Spoke Polish, I guess. I don't know. Nah, that'll be it. He's, he's a racist. Like, he's a little. Ra who's my little racist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like that guy oh. speaks funny. I don't like it. <laughs> Seems reasonable. I think he said. Well, there was a girl, but she, I think mm -hmm. she said something mean to me in Polish. Ah. The body language wasn't good, and Spot was like. <laughs> <laughs> Could tell. <laughs> yeah. They'll just says, Loki can't wait for the play session, but about to activate my tism with guns. Brother, brother, activate my tism. Can you say that? <laughs> Only if you have tism. I don't know if that's okay to say that. Delta says, what about mailman, ma uh, woman? Loves, oh, yeah. Loves a mailman. Yeah. Mailman give him a treat once, mm -hmm. best friend. That's a treat delivery person. Mm hmm. Even if it only happened the one time, it's good enough. Oh, we were walking past my neighbor, the yeah. Polish lady. She was going to a bin. Mm -hmm. She sprinted back into the house. Yeah. <laughs> a little tiny dog like Spot walking past. She wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> it's like I've never seen someone move that quick. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Are you right? I actually said what the fuck out loud. Yeah. She has a she has a ring doorbell, so she probably fucking heard me. I was like, what the fuck was that? That's very, very funny to me. Uh I've definitely had I've definitely had dogs, especially small dogs that were like inordinately hostile. And they definitely will make Spot. me act a little squirrely. What is in hostile? No, I got you, I got you, but I'm going somewhere with this, right? Okay. They have made me act a little squirrely, which I say that as a squirrel's act and also as if you were getting attacked by a squirrel the way that you would respond. Like you would you would move quickly and uh, you know what I mean? And and probably wildly. But to me, I would be like full on fear. It would be like I'd be like wiggle. I would, it would be one of like the worst case of the wiggles. You know what I mean? It would be like, what the yeah. fuck? Get the fuck away from me. Stop it. But I'm not like sprinting away full sprint. I'm like stop like <laughs> no like seriously fuck off like i'm not scared of you i just don't want you to fucking touch me <laughs> yeah same with the tiny dog where it's like yo okay little guy like you're doing your best but like i'm not fucking terrified <laughs> just flip flip spot over <laughs> yeah no little and not any dog obviously but any dog that i'm familiar with i, I flip that motherfucker over he starts acting funny i'm flipping him over He's gonna be like, why did you flip me? I'm like, because you're misbehaving. He's like, okay. Oh, well, smart one's gonna be like, flip me again. <laughs> flip me again. Flip me. <laughs> Stop trying to flip me and flip me. <laughs> yeah. Delta says, bro, I don't understand why people instinctively run away from dogs. Yeah, it's a great way to make a dog chase you. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what are we running from? <laughs> I'm here too. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bundle of joy. Delta says just spin spot. Yeah, that probably works. He too. likes being he likes being spin. 
Yeah. It's funny because if you put a dog on their back, they're like, oh, we're having fun, we're playing. And if a cat goes on their back, they're like, I need all of my limbs to attack you. <laughs> Yeah, this is close. my attack stance. <laughs> Technically, dogs have claws as well. They just don't work very well. Yeah, but they don't like Wolverine. Yeah, it's very different. Dogs like Wolverine. Yeah, it's very different. Delta says, also, it's fine. As long as the word is not being used in hate speech, like with any other words besides slurs. <laughs> <laughs> he had to look it up. <laughs> I don't know if that's right, Delta. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one, brother. He said besides slurs, to be clear. Does a slur have to be racial? N no. There's slurs that aren't necessarily racial, I think. Because it has to do with, like, it could also be, like, nationality or whatever, right? Oh, big bungus. Are you familiar with the um the what is it called? Miracle? Miracle in Dark Souls called uh Wrath of Gods. Yeah. Did you know what it's abbreviated to? No, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried uh I was watching Way of Gold. I was watching Way of Gold play uh Dark Souls and he was doing a sorcery run. And I was like, oh, is there a socially equivalent to Way of Gods or Wrath of Gods, excuse me. But I use the abbreviation because that's what people use like in the space. You know what I mean? They use for Dark Souls. And yeah. and Twitch auto botted me. And I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> right. I was like, right. I forgot that I had to type it out. Wrath of Gods. And he was like, I don't even know why Twitch auto botted you. And I was like, oh, that's a slur. And he's like, I don't didn't know that that was a slur. I was like, oh yeah, it's a British thing. <laughs> you wouldn't necessarily know since Way of Gold is also American, right? Why is everyone American? Can you stop? Uh, it's not everyone uh, that's American, just the important yeah, but people. Can, can, but can you stop being American? Can I? No. Yeah, pl please? Transnationalist. <laughs> it exist. It is. Also, I can't just move somewhere else and then be like a naturalized citizen. Technically, that counts, but my accent uh, wouldn't change. Uh, and my cultural sensitivities wouldn't be different, probably. You still, you still eat Big Burger. I mean, as long as they sell Big Burger, you know what I mean? You could go places that don't sell Big Burger, I imagine, right? Somewhere. I like Long I like Long Burger. Big long Burger? burger? Long Burger is probably, probably pretty good. A submarine wide, burger? Wide Burger. Tall Burger wide bad. Burger? Wide Burger good. I think long burger is better than wide burger. I'm going to be honest long, with you. Long, I like long paper. better than wide. Yeah. I'm trying to make a snapdragon potion. Yeah. It's illegal. It would be. It would be a whole problem, I think, even. Make the null potion. <laughs> yeah. I like the obsidian set. I'm glad that I don't use it anymore, but I do like it. So it seems like it's really never intense. good anymore. Yeah. Wait, never ever ever? No, no. You got the Blood Moon set. And you do um, Aquas. <laughs> Damn. It's just people haven't caught on to it yet, but that's gonna be the new meta. Fuck Nightmare Zone. Mm hmm. It costs money though, to be fair. But I guess you make more money. You make more. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Life How much do you make from the herb boxes? Money. Yeah, it, it doesn't cost money technically, but because you you have you're you using Darox, it costs money. Yeah, but you're not. You're using Obsidian set, right? <laughs> Until ninety two, at least. That's true. I guess there is a time, though. There does come a time where you do make money i just don't know how much money you make from the air boxes versus the nagwas true saku it costs money to end tonight my zone yeah but not really because their boxes will offset that easily right no way that unless you're an iron man that's even use true boxes. i guess wow i didn't think it's of so that fucked. it's so fucked that iron men can't even get the hurt boxes yeah what do you Can't guys spend really. your nightmare zone points on then they don't <laughs> 
<laughs> redirection scrolls and never use them. Absorption potions and over overloads or whatever. <laughs> That's what you use them and then on. Use, and use them to get more. Nightmare zone points, yeah. That's what it's, that's what they're used for. That's it. You buy the rune essence? <laughs> you buy anything? Damn, rune essence, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rune essence. Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> Literally nothing. I would rather have nothing than rune essence. Gersh's number go up. Yeah, it do be going up. What'd you do if you woke up? Yeah. And you realize that your number went up. I think it always does. You know, your phone number went up by one digit. That's crazy. Uh, I think I wouldn't do anything about it, to be honest. You wouldn't tell anyone? No. <laughs> no, I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> then you keep getting calls from NASA saying, when are you, when are you going to arrive at the shuttle? You've got an astronaut's phone number now. Oh shit, my number neighbor was an astronaut? Yeah. You ever seen that? You ever seen that screenshot? Where he's like, hey, we're number neighbors. And the, the, the other guy sent him like demonic runes. What? No. Yeah, in Teletubbies. No, I definitely do Who's not. like Teletubbies with demonic runes around them? Weird. And we got many charges left. Saka says, hey man, the forklift is free. Get on. <laughs> Gur says, what would you do if there, there were activities that made number go down? I think there are no activities that make number go down in life. Every cigarette I smoke is five yeah. minutes gone. Yeah. And if you think about it, like I was thinking waking up is number going up, but it also kind of is number going down. I think cigarettes could extend my life though. Yeah, how do you think? How do you figure? If I get ball cancer, yeah, and they remove my balls, uh -huh. my life expectancy will go up. The uh, reason it, men think, die earlier has caused testosterone. I think it depends on when they remove your balls, though. All right, early ball cancer. Yeah, if you get early ball cancer, maybe. Usually, they only remove one if they can help it, though. Also, you could just get a vasectomy. Oh. Mm. It's not removing the balls, though, I guess, technically. I've actually tried to before. They're not really a fan of it. Yeah, but you're older now, so maybe they'll be cool with it. No, you gotta have a kid. So fucked. What? They're very... Unless you have a kid, they're, like, really against you having a vasectomy. Is it, like, population demographics thing? It must be, right? No, it's like, you might regret it. <laughs> like fish over. So I'm gonna regret the first one. That's so funny to me. That's it's so funny to me that they're like, no, never. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. You've had a kid. Yeah, you understand. I, I, you, you got the gist of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, man. Whatever. Surely they could like add a valve. Yeah. Just turn it on. Turn it on and off. You know. No. No. Keep it off for too long and your fucking balls explode. I don't know. Yeah, no. Listen, man, I'm just giving the doctor's opinions. Yeah. You can make it work, okay? You mean options? <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm the ideas man. <laughs> okay, great. I don't need to be right all the time. I just need to yeah. spout shit out you. Whatever. Yeah. It's gonna throw it at the wall. You get it. Mm. Whatever mistakes you, you mm. saw out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. All right. Like I that switch. politician. Like that politician. It was like, um. Mm, uh, uh, COVID uh, bleach kills it. Have we tried getting that in the body? Yeah. Yeah. You're so right. You're so right. I mean, yep. Sure, I guess. So. Jack bleach. One thing that occurs to me, I I thought uh -huh. you were gonna go this direction with the politician thing. It was um. What's his name? He was Captain America, but he's also the Falcon or whatever. He was like, you politicians do better and it's like a huge statement or whatever and, and the politicians mm -hmm. are like how <laughs> yeah how we want to <laughs> we want to but we don't tell know us. how how tell us how to do better he's like oh well you know you gotta 
you gotta figure that out yourself like you gotta do ah uh, good luck <laughs> then he like like come on man like do better it's so easy to say but like come on man they don't know yeah, just just do um just what you're doing now mm -hmm. i want a 50 percent improvement <laughs> yeah brother by next by next quarter yeah exactly that's straight up what they'll be doing like corpo style making record profits but it's not good enough so you got to do better somehow anyway oh my god that's why you never try yeah. in a job I'm, this is my honest opinion don't fucking try unless it's your family business something you give a fuck about do the bare minimum so you don't get fired always <laughs> Life advice from Savage. I'm telling you, man, do that. Yeah. Not, not making you rich, is it? Yeah, it certainly won't. No matter how Welcome. hard you work, it's not going to make you rich. Unless you actually become the CEO or whatever, it's never going to make you rich. And you're not going to oh become the CEO. <laughs> I saw you so bit from a comedian. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher it, but <clears throat> like he's talking about this kid. Hmm talking about his dreams in class and the teacher mm -hmm. was like oh you want to be the president that's a great idea if you try hard enough you can be the president of the united states it's like and that kid went on to um work at walmart mm -hmm. and then uh and then after a few years he became regional manager mm -hmm. and then he then he um owned several walmarts mm -hmm. and then he was a smart kid so he realized where this is all going and then he killed himself <laughs> 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 Damn. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. What is that, Bill Burr? <laughs> I know it's um it was it. I don't remember who it was. I saw that well back. With a punchline like that, it sounds like it sounds like <laughs> someone like Bill Burr. <laughs> pretty raw, brother. Pretty yeah. raw on that one. Alright, fair enough. Why does this guy look like he just shat his his bed and he wants me to clean it up? Why don't you? <laughs> that fucking ohm or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> this he's looking at me through my doorway like, mom. Oh, mom, it, it happened again. <laughs> mom, it happened again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, his delivery was better on that one. But, uh, pretty yeah, good joke. Of course. of course, of course. I'm not a professional comedian. Not yet. Not yet. I, w I wouldn't be anyway. I hate, I hate crowds. <clears throat> I could never do, do that shit. Do it on <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> the fucking Zoom comedian? Yeah, that's what they were that doing like, with the. Uh... That helps. Oh, don't get me started During on that COVID. fucking bullshit. Late night shows you're over Zoom. <laughs> it, was, it was actually no audience. You can realize how unfunny that was. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, without the laugh track, you realize how fucking I depressing. I fucking and... hate laugh tracks, dude. I hate that shit. I do too. But you know what's worse than a laugh track? Not having it. Not having it when you're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that to some degree. I think just not having the laugh track does a lot for me because I just don't watch the show. They always uh, depress me because they're all dead, you know. All those laughter, all those laughing guys, they're all dead. They recorded that shit in the fucking 1900s or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Every single laugh you hear, they're just the laughs of dead people. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, savage. I'm really um, positive to do. Yeah, what the fuck happened to you, dude? Are you alright? I don't know. Man. I don't know. But so yeah, about true story. Has you has you tilted all the oh, way to, to death? You're angled around. Getting the mod, so, getting yeah. the mod sorted last night was enough for me. Fucking yeah, hell, man, that's all it took. Yeah. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. I'm not gonna look up when laugh tracks were recorded. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. I obviously don't have very much investment personally. I do. Get a load of this guy. He's doing herb lore, but he doesn't have the new shit. Idiot.
Spit on him. No, that's all right. If I had a spit emote, for sure. But I'm a little lacking right now. I see. Yeah, this is almost three times as good as doing that mini game. So, yeah. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> this is the answer. Am I the only one who thinks that the first 14 items in my inventory look like they take up more space than the last second 14 items? No, I'm with you there. I don't know why. <laughs> because obviously it's, it's the same, but it looks bigger. Bigger. It's bigger. Yeah. That's a reality of fake, bro. Yeah, true. Have you seen the like uh it's like a Bill and I episode too, where there's like uh a wide a wide short glass and a tall narrow glass. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like it won't fit, but they're the same volume. <laughs> God, man. Our minds are not very good at being smart, I guess, intuitively. Oh, my God. They were all recorded in the 1950s. They're all fucking dead. 1950s? They could be alive. Half of them. Half of them are gone. Oh, more than half, probably. But yeah, some of them. some of them. Could be alive. <laughs> some of the laughters are real. <laughs> fucking ghosts in the shell, bro. Yeah, man. How long do we do we as a society continue going until AI laughter? Well, that's even more fucked because the AI laughter is going to be um, trained on dead people's laughter. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you think they're going to do more laugh? They're going to get more laugh tracks or are they going to just use the laugh track? You know what it, I mean? I mean, it's been working so far. I don't think anyone cares. I agree, but that's what I'm saying, though. It's like, at what point do the, are they like, there's there's some visionary that's like, no, 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 we need new laughs. And not living laughs must be AI laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Delta says, D do you make it as a comedian if you make a robot laugh? No. No, you can just program it to laugh at you. Yeah. It's actually easier. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's easier. I feel like this guy with the flower hat mm. stole this guy's staff <laughs> these guys should change staffs they're not looking at each other it's just too awkward <laughs> yeah they're like oh shit all right when are we starting zombie like three hours from now four hours from now. three hours all right when you end the stream when suck starts says yeah yeah we stop we start zomboid in like four hours yes do you mind sending me a ping when we do yeah, I can do that. I'll sing a, send a ping to everyone anyway. Okay, cool, cool. Saku says, Poison the AI's laugh learning with Titus's laugh from Final Fantasy X. I don't think that's poisoning. <laughs> and if you think his laugh is bad in English, you should see the Japanese version. Because, like, damn. The English actor did an excellent job emulating the Japanese laugh, but also the Japanese laugh is so much worse. <laughs> it sounds more like a bird. <laughs> Sounds like a terrible caw. It's not good. Oh, I'll make sure you sell these prayer pots sooner um, rather than for, later. Okay. Just when you but when you log off. Yeah. This is too good to last. Okay. No problem. No problem. Actually, we're at the perfect time to do Herblo. No joke. Everything just comes up Millhouse for you. I mean, it was strictly profitable just regular doing prayer potions for a while, and we didn't do it then. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was buying them for the new boss. Yeah. They crashed a lot. They were like 12k. All right, well, I'm going to walk my dog. Go walk your dog, then. I'll see you for zombie, brother. Yeah, I'll be here for now. 
Peace. Bye. Bye. Later, man. Bye, Delta. Bye, Saku. Bye, Gor. Bye, everyone else. Bye. He's making a point that I don't say hello to everyone. I can't believe this. On his way out, he rubs it in just a little bit with a heel of his foot because he's so much bigger than I am. What's this guy protecting from magic from? What does he know that I don't know? Oh my god. I had so much snape grass left. I assumed that I was still making potions, but I just had six left. That was fucking crazy. Actually insane. Oh god. Fuck that up. No. Okay, hold on. There we go. We're good. We fixed it. Oh, I had tears of Gothics to do today. I forgot. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We can do it like tomorrow or something. Not a big deal. What does Jews of Gothics go into? Fletching? Not a huge deal. I would rather go into something other than Fletching, but you know, whatever. It's fine. I really wanted that to go away. I was really bothered by whatever that was, the crafting menu or thieving menu. Did this guy just level up his herb lord? Thinks he's better than me because he leveled up? I swear to God, dude. I'm not going to stay here until I level up because Suck's going to be live in like a few minutes. We're actually going to hang out until she's like, she actually properly gets going. We're not going to do during her intro screen because I don't, I don't know. I feel like letting people like settle in, like raiding in when there's like nothing happening is like kind of bad. I think basically if that makes sense. Like you don't want to raid the chair. <laughs> chair POV. Woo! chair yeah let's go you know what i mean doesn't quite do the same that guy just took that zamorak monk bottom he's like oh god god wars dungeon gear finally or i guess that's wilderness god wars dungeon Speaking of, sorry, that yawn was very deep. Speaking of Wilderness God Wars Dungeons, very weird to me that that even is like a thing. Like the God Wars Dungeon unfroze and part of it was just in the wilderness. Like, oh yeah, you know, as you do. Naturally, it's in the wilderness a little bit. Don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Sorry, I was trying to get my daily potato sector started. I'm struggling. Just got so many fucking redeems, and none of them are the one that I want. There it is. I guess she made a lot of them cost one today. So yeah, as I said before, if you guys aren't aware, we're going to be playing Zomboid today for the first time. You should check out... Delta's stream for it and Chuzzy's stream because I'm not going to be live at the time because Suck's going to be doing her 2k celebration which is what we're going to be raiding into in just a minute and then every Saturday from now on we're going to be playing Zomboid as well and if you miss this stream don't worry about it the VOD will be up probably later tonight eh, maybe not quite it might take a while for the VOD to fully process whatever but anyways, it'll be on my VOD channel as well. If you ever want to catch up, don't worry about that. I'll be recording my POV as well in case anything goes down. Any crazy shenanigans pop up, pop off or whatever. I imagine it'll be fine, you know? It'll be mostly regular style. 
I'm a little worried about the framiness that we were dealing with before, but it could just be we turn off the shadows and then it's fine, like Savage was saying. But yeah, we'll take it one step at a time and everything will be okay. I think at least. Mostly. Uh huh. Haha, <laughs> mostly. Haha. Uh -huh. Till then, we do Herblore. We got really close. Really, really close. Like another 20 minutes and I would have been done with this. That's okay, though. Just means we'll wrap this up and then probably do the herb lore stuff. Maybe not, though. I think I needed, like, thieving levels for a lot of stuff. So maybe we do thieving next. Either thieving or, like, fletching, maybe. Sa uh, Savage was saying we just keep doing herb lore, which is fine, too. We could do that as well. See how it goes, you know? Play it by ear. I wonder if people like the Herb Lore minigame a lot. It seems like people do, which means that the rate... It, I think that means that Prayer Potions as a whole are going to drop in price because you get more value out of Renar, right? Something like that? I don't really know how to explain it, but like something... The price is probably going to shift as more and more people get the stuff that I have now and everybody starts using it, I imagine. But maybe not. Maybe there's just not a substantial amount of people that are like finished with herb lore that like use this stuff. Because most people who are interested in leveling herb lore are probably done. Who have been interested in leveling herb lore are already finished with it, probably, right? I don't know. Maybe not. It's not true. How often do people max skills? It's like strictly viable is the thing. And it just takes a little bit of time. And it's like a fast skill to level as well. I don't know. I feel like it's very possible for people to be mostly done with this. But I also don't feel extremely strongly about it, I guess. In that I could see it going either way. Like literally the price of the prayer potion goes up or down. I'm just not sure which. I wonder, do I keep the four dose prayers like before? I don't think so. Anticipating a crash. I think I sell them all. Keep the ones and twos or something and just make those into fours or buy fours something like that it was different when i was planning on using the fours right but i don't really have like i mean i could do like duke and stuff like that but there's nothing like i have like in mind where i'm like oh yeah i definitely need to do that like soon or whatever like we're not doing combat anytime soon i don't think We certainly could, but I don't think we will. Were those two mirror shields worth 6k? Weird. I thought like the mirror shield was just a slayer item and all the slayer items were worthless. I mean, 3k isn't much anyway, but I figured it was like, you know, the fungicide's like tens of gold tops or whatever like all that shit fishing explosives still it's like one gold a piece or whatever somewhere on the order of basically nothing approaching basically nothing what do you think that cape is ethics oh it is i saw saku get a few of those ethics folks now, I guess he only got one of them, but. I've been looking at this guy's stuff for a while, too. The royal set, I guess. 
Interesting. Definitely not my taste, though. I've been to a place that was, like, too nice once. Like, I walked into a place. It was, like, a new place on campus, right? And I was like, oh, hey, let's check this out. And I was like, whoa! And I literally just instantly left. I was like, it's way too nice in this place. Like... I don't even want to say that I was underdressed because I kind of wasn't underdressed, but like it just felt the atmosphere felt too intense. You know what I mean? Too severe. I could I can't explain why exactly. It just felt like I was surrounded by like blue bloods or something. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't it wasn't good. Too much of a plebeian myself to be worried about to be trifling in the affairs of those that are greater than I. You know what I mean? I am a lesser than. I am not worthy. We're not worthy. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like I'm talking crazy talk, but at the same time, it was just like a very, very suffocating environment for sure. Despite like it not, not even being that intense. There was like a person there, like, I don't know, like five or 10 feet from the entrance or whatever. They definitely were aware that I came in. I don't think we like looked at each other or anything, but they they were aware that I came in and I immediately left. So they were probably like, what's up with that guy? Didn't he get lost, I guess? <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, I definitely, I mean, if, for all I know, it, you could read it on my face that I was like, whoa, this place is like, geez, I need to go somewhere seedier than this. I need to fit in with my people for a second. <laughs> something i don't know hey, what's going on with this guy all black everything see him dragon hunter crossbow black huh wow i guess that's the normal silt that i have then and the three one slayer cape i didn't know the slayer cape was black that's a good color for it the agility one is like the worst one dude that shit is terrible i don't know why they did agility so goddamn dirty it's like red and fucking blue like why why would they do this actually nasty to look at all right i think it's about that time so i'm gonna read on over i hope you guys have a fantastic time i'm gonna be there obviously at least for a little while i do want to get some sleep at some point and also eat some food so so i imagine that there will be a time when uh i'll be afk but as I mentioned, she's going to be playing uh, The Legend of Zelda... What is this? Wind Waker? One of the best Zelda games for sure. They're all very good Zelda games in general, but this one is one of my favorites personally. I appreciate you guys for being here. I appreciate you watching, especially you, girl. You're my favorite. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I've been that dad fuck fan. We're going to be playing Zomboid on Delta's stream and on Chelsea's stream in a few hours, though. In a few hours. So enjoy Suck stream for now. She's got her 2K going on. And I hope you guys have a great time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Uh, I'm going to sell these like Savage said. Because I don't want him to yell at me. Oh, great. We sell all of these. Good. All right. We're done here. That's it. Goodbye. Goodbye, YouTube.